what a great way to start the show. That's better than my song. What was yours? What was yours going to be? Uh, Tom Waits and and Bed Midler. Oh, this is how, okay. How, All right. How so I am woman. Hear me roar. Uh, I, I'm I, here I with Rich Foss. We're on. Uh, I'm taking over the show. No, you're not you taking see? over. You're working the board. I'm working I, the board. I'm doing the calls again. I did it last week. Rich did it for 11 weeks. Never figured it out. I did figure. I it did out. it last week. I was amazing. Okay, here's how this okay, is going to so, work. Bonnie's going to do the boards. I carry the show. She throws in the humor. I, I throw steer, in the humor. I got to work the board and throw in the humor. I, I steer the show. I do in humor. The, and I throw in some funny stuff every now and then, but I'll steer it in the direction Whoa. it's supposed to go. You see okay. what I'm saying? Well, we got a lot to um, talk about today. We have a lot. Um, we have cameras in here rolling. For our pilot. We're doing a pilot. For a network. Are you allowed to say the network? I don't know, so why say it? Okay. It's, so it's if you want to if you want to get on a non-airing pilot, call us Sirius 206 XM 103 866 969 1969. But you don't know if they'll ever air this, you know what I mean? Cuz they're going to if the pilot gets picked up, uh, which I see they it. They recut it into one of the episodes. Into one of the episodes if one of the calls are great, right? They might use it as a a a, a clip for, you know, advertising marketing you never know you never know it's like cross promotions maybe that maybe network, on the website i remember when i first came into opie uh and and it was opie and somebody that week i don't know who was if anthony was here or it was i know florentine was in studio and i told them that we have this uh thing cooking oh and, yeah and, i remember uh, that and anthony was there anthony was there, and now let me t- no i don't think anthony was here because i was sitting in that chair it was when we just got back, and I, I said we have something cooking, and now it's big thing. Now it's now it's making the light of day. Now That's right. you know what it is. A lot of comics go, I got this, I got that, but they don't got nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and we produce. Mm-hmm. Is that what we do? We produce. All right. Here's what happened on the way coming into New York. Our lives when you're shooting this type of thing, Alex. What are you yes, doing? Ma'am. You're not the only caller. Goodbye. Don't don't, caller, don't hang up. So. You're, I, he asked if he was the only caller. I just wanted to tell him he wasn't. We have other callers. Okay, let's let's <laughs> settle in before we take some calls. Okay, I just had to do it. Alex, call back later. We'll get to you. No, don't. No. Alex, you had your chance. There's a lot going on. You know, we have to go here. <laughs> You're so messed up. Who's so messed up? You are. What do you mean? I'm trying. To... I don't know what you're doing right now. Because you won't give me a chance to speak, and then <laughs> it'll you'll figure it out. It'll all come together. Okay, go ahead. But try to be quick about it. We have we have to shoot for a couple of days. I flew in from Kentucky on Monday. Yes, you did. I landed. We mm-hmm. started shooting yesterday. That's Monday. Correct. You got the it. The second I walked in the house, I got mic'd up. Yes. Okay. So then we shot all the way until we went into our room and relaxed and watched our TV shows. Watched Boardwalk Empire. Unbelievable. And then cried How, a little. It's so depressing. It's so depressing that, that, that it's the not that, that it's the, over. The, I mean, the episode was depressing, but that it's the final one was really. Yeah. It was a good final episode. I really wish, though, he, if you didn't see it, well, this really won't hurt you. I really wish he did get that lady out of the mental institution. Uh, why would you say that? Why wouldn't I? It was because on Sunday. now people know. It's, t- it's three days later. If they don't know by now. So, so we didn't have a lot of time. We got up today. We did what we had to do. I had to go to the doctor. I have some stomach pain. I got my hair cut, a little Caesar cut. I wanted a Caesar. I got a Caesar. I uh, went to the gym, worked out, all of this stuff. Then we have to film tonight. We're filming here. Then we're going to a comedy club to film. And as I'm driving in, and and then tomorrow's all planned. We're going to the tattoo mm, parlor. Okay. We're doing a bunch of stuff. Everything's planned for tomorrow. Hang on the lines, guys. You got some good calls Everything's coming planned. out, but we got to listen to this first. Everything's planned. And as I'm driving in, I take a bite of a pretzel, and my tooth breaks. It must have broke because it's not there. I must have swallowed it. And now I have to go to the dentist in the morning. I got to get a hotel. So everything is just crazy. It's going crazy 
Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, crazy. No, it's all I've been hearing about. Is my broken tooth? If your tooth broke, no, this is the thing though. But it's always something with you, and I understand it's not your fault. It's a horrible thing to have happened that your tooth broke, and I. You keep saying, "Are you mad at me?" I'm not really mad at you, but the problem with you is, is that your tooth breaks, then you freak out about it which is understandable. Then you called your dentist and you said, I'm going to go to the dentist tomorrow. I'm going to get a hotel tonight, stay in the city, go to the dentist in the morning because I'm flying out on Thursday and I got to get it done. Fine. Then that should be kind of it, but not with you. With you, you have to come in, tell every single person on the crew what's going on with your tooth. I've heard the story now 30 times. We have to make, you make people look in your mouth. We might have to change uh, plans. To see the tooth. I saw you standing here with our, our producer, uh, a radio a, producer. He had a, a flashlight looking in your mouth. Did I? But I, I uh, had the flashlight. It's not like he had to bring his own flashlight. Oh well, that's it makes the story so much better. But I'm just saying, it's like the, the drama that surrounds uh-huh. everything. That's what it's like. It would be fine, but you're just it's it's so much all the time. I'm just saying, it's not so much. I'm, it's just you know, it's, it's life on life's terms. Uh, uh, and and but now while we're shooting this, and I got to leave to Seattle on Wednesday, on Thursday, I don't want to go to Seattle with a broken tooth, and all of a sudden I'm across the country and I get this major tooth pain. You know, right now so far it doesn't hurt. If there's a dentist that would like to call in, and uh, Jack, are you a dentist? Any dentist in New York listening that can do a a quick extraction tonight, I would appreciate it. Okay. Jack, so, so I Jack don't... from Tucson, you're on the air. Hi, how are you? Are you a dentist? No, I wish I was. I'm actually I'm a school teacher. Who would wish they were a dentist? Somebody who's um, a school teacher. Somebody, somebody that has 30 kids a day, nodding at them, asking well, about 3,000 questions an hour. Okay, well, I'm going to get to what you really called about, but I just uh, let me just ask this other guy, because he wants to know if it's okay to hit your kids, and I think you might be good to answer that. Andrew. You want to? You have three kids, and you and you want to hit them? No, <laughs> Bonnie, you're diabolical. Oh wait, I want to talk to Jack. Jack, Jack, I, what do you think what? about Andrew hitting his kids? Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Hey, no, oh, because, oh, thanks, Bonnie. Little, little one at a time, wife. guys. One at a time. Oh, sorry, Jack. I'm, Jack, sorry. go ahead. I think I think kids know how to dial that magic three digit number nine one one anymore, and he found himself in jail, unfortunately. Oh, so Jack's really saying don't hit your kids only because you'll go to jail. If you can be assured that no one's going to find out, I think he's saying it's okay. You're starting to get on my nerves, oh. Andrew. I was I was smacked well, when I was that's, younger. That's, so. that's, look at that's you. Reassuring. You really think you're like Mrs. Radio now? <laughs> oh, look at this. I'm fantastic. <laughs> Just because they give you the board. I didn't fight for it. Don't Andrew answer. has three kids. It's probably hard. Well, I want to ask Jack why he called. Well, we'll get to it. We'll get to it, Andrew. What is it? Thank what's you. what's Bonnie, the problem? Thank you. Thank you. I, pre- I appreciate you giving me the time. Um, no, I don't hit my kids. I, I specifically do not hit my kids. But you're right. When you have three, sometimes it gets a little hard. Do you pay? Do you pay anybody to hit them? <laughs> <laughs> Jack, do you have kids? Uh, no, 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 we don't, unfortunately. What, what grade do you teach? I teach fifth grade. Oh. Fifth grade. It's creepy a little bit when, when a man is teaching we discussed that. A, any kid that's not in ele- uh, junior high yet. You know what I mean? Oh, I wrote a yeah, bit about that, and I forgot about like it. Like, every parent, Jack, that comes in looks you in the eye and is trying to assess, like, will you touch my kid? Yeah, that's when we took our kids to, when we took our kid to daycare. Did you tell me to shut up? No, I'm just, I want Jack to answer. Well, what do you have to say for yourself, Jack? Can you repeat that question? I, I'm sorry, I thought we were, you were talking about Are me. you a pedophile? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> but, I mean, why would, you, I'm, I'm why would you be guy. a fifth grade teacher, though? Yeah, why not a no high school? No kids of your own. It's a, yeah. Are you married? Do you, do, do you volunteer in a Boy Scout uh, leader, too? No, I was a Boy Scout, though, if that means anything. What are you oh, wearing right started. now? I he's think this a, is going to give us a good I think clue. he's got a Boy Scout uniform on now. Yes, I I'm see. I'm my, my school attire, shirt, tie, dress, dress pants. And panties. Yes, probably. Do you have, uh, Andrew, do you have kids that are 10, 11? No, no, I have... Five-year-old, uh, a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old, all boys. Now, if you went to the, the kindergarten class and the teacher was a man, would you be weirded out by that? 
red flag immediately. Yes, right? Yes. Here's what I'm thinking. Jack, do you know that all parents think that about you? No, I don't think they think that because in a lot of schools, uh, fifth grade is actually considered junior high in a lot of different schools. In our oh, no, no, no. no. What, what no. That See, mean? that's exactly the problem. He's already aging them up. Yeah. He's like, no, he's he's mature. He's oh. very mature. We, we hope all... He's got a unibrow. We let our, we let our students wear heels. <laughs> and, and, and I think I think parents sometimes see men teachers in the classroom as as an equal role model because there's so many women in the profession. So it's good to see a man's point of view, uh, for, especially for kids who have no parents, you know, families exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are the kind you love, aren't the, the people? They, they, they aren't going to have anybody to tell. Can I talk to Jack real quick? Yeah, I remember calling into this radio show in Tucson. We were doing. I was doing a radio tour for the movie. Now, what were they saying before I got on the air? Yeah, that's what I. That's why I called, Rich. Uh, I, I jog every morning before I go to work, so I listen to KLPX radio. I hope I hope I can say that. I don't. You yeah. can say whatever you want. Say, they is... stink. I'm sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Do, do you recall calling? In we just called you a pedophile. Go ahead. Wait, go ahead. What was that? <laughs> say whatever you want. So what happened? Do you recall calling into the Frank show a few weeks back? Yeah, I was doing a radio tour for the movie. We're going from. I did like 15 in a row. They're set up. I remember Tucson because the guys. Asked me if I remembered them, like I knew them, like I was there before or something. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. they're you know, I, I can't exactly, exactly remember, you know, all the details per se, but yeah. I just remember them trashing you a little bit before you came on the air, so I wasn't sure if you were on hold, if you heard any of that. No, if I what did What were they or, saying? Or, uh, it was it was something with a prior history they had with you, or, or a prior interview that they did with you. Do you, do you remember anything? Uh, I know Frank used to work in New York. He was, I'm not sure what radio station he was on. Were they saying that but, Rich was a dick or something? Something about his marriage. They were confused on his marriage situation and his divorce. Uh, I, I don't know the whole history, oh, but what? I wish I knew all the details. But I just remember... Well, thanks for calling in. Jesus, you're the worst yeah. gossip person ever. I know. I want to know, like, if they might not <laughs> have been trash. They, they, they might have been talking about someone entirely different. Because you know, here's no, the thing. They were thing. talking about Rich. They were talking about Rich. And it's something, I think it's funny because they do this very often. They, they get these guests on their show in the morning. And because they're out of town guests, they may not be tuning in, of course, or they're not on hold like I was earlier listening to part of your show. They can't hear what's going on until you actually make contact with them and do the interview. So uh-huh. I just thought it was interesting. I wish, I don't know if you can get a hold of that, the playback of that or if they keep archives of their show. No, I, get, I wish I, I could find hung up on Andrew. Okay, so. Jack, do me a favor. Sure. Yeah. Uh, email me their names and I'm going to uh, find out who their producer is. I'm going to call them in on my own. Because I was doing a radio junket, that's what it is, and I, you know, I just went from one to the other, just trying to get the movie out there. And I'll call them and I'll go, "Will you guys, you know?" Because I remember they, I'm coming to Arizona in a couple of weeks, and they go, "Hey, stop in," you know. They go, "Hey, stop in." Like, shut the fuck up if you're trash to me. But maybe it was funny. Maybe they were being yeah, maybe, funny. Maybe it was, and, I, and I'm not, I'm not trying to take either side on this, but I, I just thought it was interesting. And I do remember you talking about the movie. I do recall that. Yes, that's why. Um, it's just well, that this I, is... I was jogging in traffic, and I was trying to—I was hearing bits and pieces. But what else? I what did, else do I you did, remember? <laughs> I just—I just remember them talking about uh, some kind of a prior interview they did. I feel with like you. I'm like an NYPD right. yeah, officer. No, I feel—I feel like—I feel like they—they—they like they, they had some kind of prior. It felt to me like they had some kind of prior history with you. Okay. Well, listen. Here's were, the thing: we can't use you as a snitch anymore because no, you're not really. The wor- you're the you're, worst, Jack. You're not a good yeah, snitch. Well, Jack, Jack's not my real name anyway. So. Anyway, oh well, stop doing, touching kids right then. Whoever you hang up on them. I'm joking. All right. Bye. Email me their names. Um, uh, Norton's here. Oh, Don't you want to oh, bring yeah, Norton yeah, in? Yeah, definitely bring Norton in. To save this already? We've only been on 15 minutes and we need somebody to save it. Well, I just want to ask this guy. What What, what do you want to ask me, Jeff? I want to know if you're going to try getting on uh, the show when Dice comes on. They said today that Dice is going to be coming on in a couple of weeks. <gasps> yeah, I'll try. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm going to ask Jim about it. And yeah, they, uh, they said uh, that he's coming on to promote his, uh, his book or something. He he wrote a book. No, somebody wrote it for him. He told he told a book. That's what he did, right? He told him. Okay, Jeff. Thank you for the heads up. I will yeah. definitely try and. Do Why? That. What if he smashes you to pieces? God, who cares? It's still a win-win. It's a win-win. Do you think you can hold your own against dice? Pro- probably not. In like, if I was like prepared and wrote some stuff for it, <laughs> you can't write. I know. an argument. I know, but I might just. But I might just enjoy it. I might I mean, just enjoy that he would not like it that I was there. He might probably. I don't think he remembers you. Maybe not. Maybe not. 
But I'll do again, this in a reminder. Who else <laughs> gave? Who else gives somebody the finger like that? So they got. To, I'm sure he'll remember that. The girl that gave him the finger across her teeth. Yeah. Two fingers. How weird. Where's Norton? Tell him to come in. He probably went to the bathroom or something. I don't know. Should we take so, another call then? Yeah. Um. Uh. Go to David. Wait. There was one that was. You just like that because it's about you. Oh, Andrew is hung up on. Andrew. Hi, what I do? I I don't know, but I gotta go. I just got, I I'm sorry. I I get I even get talk to Rich. Okay. Okay. Say one thing to Rich, and then we're gonna hang. Don't up hang on. up on him. Yeah, Rich. I, I can say one thing to Rich, and I'll stay on for the rest of the hour that you're you're on. Rich, you are the greatest comedian alive. Thank I you. Love you. Wait, Jim Norton's here. Yeah, he knows what he's oh, talking oh, about. Oh, oh, never mind. Forget it. Jimmy. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, you're the greatest comedian alive. No, he's saying right, you're right, the greatest right. comedian alive. You Here's how it. you compare someone like Jim, Colin, Bobby, Norton, Voss. You know you how know you what? compare? Uh, honestly, Rich, I, I heard something Colin can say. I'm sure you've heard it, too. He's called you the master of the counterpunch. I know, I'm know. i sure you've heard that before. Why don't you fuck off? Listen to me and listen to what I'm no. trying to help you with. Yeah, no, he's, he's giving you too many compliments. I don't like him. ruining the flow. He's trying, to, he's trying to get something out of us. Hi, Jim. Hi, buddy. How are you? It's What's good. going on? It's good to see you outside the window. How was your dinner? It was good. <laughs> I was an old high school friend. Oh, she's very pretty. Yeah, she is. We haven't seen each other in, in many, many years. A high school friend? Like, how did you connect with a believe, high school friend? Yeah, but, I can't First I, of all, it's hard to believe you had high school friends. Well, there were very few. That's and then they, that, like, they... Wrote you back on Facebook. Well, they came, she came to see me as a comic. I know I didn't just invite her to dinner from Facebook. <laughs> I want to be friends again. <laughs> no, I wound up uh, seeing her at the Stress Factory, and, and she had some business in the city. So we're like, let's get dinner. And I feel like such a big person with no uh, expectations of anything you inappropriate. Went, uh, half and half, right? No, no, I bought. Oh, good. Yeah, no, I, mean, yeah, no, I don't go Dutch. <laughs> did you, Even if I'm not going to get laid, I don't go Dutch. Did you go? Did you uh, like talk old times? You know when Mrs. You know Betsy used to fucking point. Mrs. You Betsy, that's the best <laughs> name you can improv. Well, these cameras She's really upset you. Know? Producer of the show. That's when he came up this with her name. Brilliant improv. He sees three fucking GoPros. He's, He's like, uh, Mrs. Person. <laughs> yeah, well, nobody's uh, nobody's uh, being mean to him. He doesn't have to counter punch on that. He's, oh. When he's left to his own devices, not good at was all. The girl ma- was the girl married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a total just, let's talk about high school. But if the, all I want to know is who died. That's all I care about is like, who died? Like, I, I, I'm dying. To, not actively. <laughs> Did she say your career? <laughs> no, that, that was still born. <laughs> you know what happened in, our, in my high school is, you know, in the yearbook. Uh, who it's, died? It's, you know, it's really creepy. You want to know, though. Most accident prone, the guy who got most accident prone, he died over the summer of a, in a boating accident. Oh, and then no. the, the, the yearbook comes out, you know, in October. Or whatever, then the following year, and it says, "Oh, he was. Oh, it was. This is when he was. Yeah, pictures. it goes to it goes to oh, it goes no. to print or whatever, and you couldn't take it back. Yeah, and he died over the summer. Wow, that's an accident. A, that's a great Canadian story, right there. And he died. <laughs> he died in a boat accident. Eh? <laughs> yeah. So it was real. It yeah. was uh, kind of a lot like the Edmund Fitzgerald, if you want to talk about it. You know, I bet his parents <laughs> pulled that that uh, that paper out. Yeah. <laughs> so. So you talk, you know, that's cool. Cause whenever I wish you work, I talk like that all the time. You know what's great when you work at the Stress Factory? That people that you went to school with always come down and show up, and you'll see faces. Like when I worked there, I had a whole table of these funky black dudes I used to hang with in school, mm. and it was it was just great, you know, because they were all good athletes, and, and now they're just, you know... Whatever messes. And <laughs> Sorry, but is it I, weird to see other I, people. I that, keep it real, yo. Other people that only made it to the third grade. <laughs> get it? <laughs> I get it. No, don't you want to know who died though? Not because you want them dead, but it makes you feel like you're, you're outliving people. So it makes you feel like you're not as old. I'm telling you, I like. I don't know that. if well, I. Maybe like, I've gotten to a place yet where... Yeah. <laughs> maybe they didn't have the money for like a- maybe AZT. In, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, at least... W- maybe when you start getting AARP or something. Oh, I get 46. it. 46. Oh, no. What is that? For retired people. No, it's... It's I 51, don't use it. isn't it, or something? 50. I don't use it, but I could, you know, I, I qualify for oh, okay. I'm fucking driving in, and I'm oh chewing a pretzel. Oh, God. I'm chewing a pretzel, and my Which tooth broke. My tooth broke, and I swallowed a fucking broken tooth. Now mm. all I just have is... 
a piece of a tooth hanging in the back of me. It's good. And I have to fly to Seattle. You don't care about the a shotgun shell. No, I right, know. Unless he died. Then yeah. you'd be like, oh. Then I'd be happy. Yeah. Great. One more to add to Why the list. Why do you look good tonight? Thank you. Well, because I, I knew I was going to a fine restaurant, and I knew that uh, this was a big <laughs> evening, so I wanted to come here and look uh, appropriate. <laughs> I love, though, that he shook out his shirt. Yeah. <laughs> no, he <laughs> looks, going to a that's fine exact, restaurant. That is exactly how I do it. I don't have an iron, so what I do is I fucking throw it in the dryer, and I yeah. dry it with a nice little piece of... Uh, you should put a little, uh, put an ice cube in there. Why? It'll, it'll get the wrinkles out a little better. I never heard that. I didn't either. Yeah. But a woman would know. Life hacks by Bonnie McFarland. Sometimes we'll try to put an ice cube in her mouth and then I'll fucking fuck her mouth. When, nothing. Listen what? to me. You should have went with like a dead, it feels like a dead body or something. I, I want to know what happened. I've heard about blowjobs with ice. I don't like them. You know? No, it's too I had much. Gr- I had a girl put pop rocks in her mouth. But and you like giving them, right? Ma- well, you know. When you're hey, still, we'll be, you, hey, if she dies first. <laughs> here's, on the, here's another tip. Uh, when you're on the road, if you don't want to iron... You put your you hang your clothes in the bathroom and turn the shower on real oh, hot yes. and the steam. Oh, thank you, thank you, Richard. Richard yeah. Martinizing. Jesus. Yeah. Tips from nineteen seventy two. That's a really awful <laughs> tip. That's great. But you know he learns these things and he honestly goes through life thinking he's the only one who knows this shit. Like he he'll like wipe off a top of a coke can and then if I do it he goes I taught you that. I taught. <laughs> You're like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Although I will say the Voss, I, I, that was something I didn't do. Voss got me more into afraid of germs than when I was younger. Like with stuff like cleaning that off yeah. and the way he would always scream. I admire Rich because we'll be at a place and I'll see a guy do something. Like there's this one waiter at the comedy cellar. Whenever he hands me my water, he takes the top off and he just grabs it. Yeah. With his, and it annoys me mm-hmm. and fucking Voss would say something. Mm-hmm. I, I had a guy... They have to bring me a new bottle of ketchup. And when they put their fingers in the cup, today at Dunkin' Donuts, the guy was making my fucking bagel. On one hand, he had a glove. The other hand, he didn't have a glove. And he's touching the bagel. I go, what's the sense of having one fucking glove when the other hand is contaminated? Well, that's okay. the, the way you say it. Yeah. You're such yeah. an asshole. I know he really is. I like, said it. I, I always say, it. like, if, if you need a, a bottle of ketchup, like a new bottle of ketchup, you can be like, well, I kind of have a little disorder. Can I get a bottle of ketchup? Like, you know... Like, oh, sorry to do this to you, but not him. He's like, a, a new bottle, please? Yeah, no, yeah, but this guy... spilled water all over. I don't Listen, give a shit. I had a girl. This fucking guy, he's touching my bagel, and he's he's a foreigner. So already they're, they have different, you know, codes when it comes to cleansing. Them. Oh. What? Oh, they only respond when yelled at? No, no, I'm just saying they have, they have brought up different. Can, let's you ask- do yell. Let's ask, um, let, let's ask, uh, first of all. Then we could ask Tim uh, his opinion on my creepiness. Yes, people... your creepiness. Okay. Um, Brian, you're asking about the podcast. Yeah. Um, I was actually, I, first off, I love Women Aren't Funny, by the way. Thank um, you. But uh, I, I was really kind of curious because I've, I've been listening to you guys for a while. Um, and it just seems like in Women Aren't Funny, funny, it seemed like. I, I don't know, like, Rich was just this, who kind of pushed you back and suppressed you somehow, but in the podcast, it just seems like the gloves are off for you, like, this is your time to lash back out. I, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> well, I honestly... Normally. I, I, the truth of the matter is, is that I don't, I'm not, like, Rich is open about everything. He, he doesn't care whatever, what people know about him. In fact, not everything. Yeah, believe me, there are some secrets. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is it gay? Is he gay? No, Just he's tell not me. gay. I don't want to be the last to know. That's no, all I ask. not at all. He, he doesn't even know yet. <laughs> no. So, uh, <laughs> it was a he. Um, so, I personally, I would never do the podcast if it was left to me. I just, I'm not that kind of comedian. I don't really talk about my real life. I, it's not who I am. I, I like, I, I like to spin things a little bit, make people think I'm doing a little better than I am, you know. But when you're with Rich, you can't. You, he just, he will just fucking tell the truth no matter. Like even if somebody's like, oh, you're flying back to New York, and you just say yes because you don't want to go into a big fucking song and dance about where you really live. Rich will be like, I'll say yes, and Rich will be like, we don't live in New York. We live in New Jersey, <laughs> and then you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, wait, because you know what? What? It's just uh, you know, one little lie that you do turns into bigger and bigger. I know it's because you're just trying to like shut down. Yeah, the just com- kind of, you're just trying to get away from whatever it is. And- you're avoiding a long discussion and extra words. You just want to avoid the other person's further yes. questions. I understand. So that. I so when. 
So making the movie, I had control over what I was going to show. And the podcast, I don't. I just have to fight back because... But I didn't hold her back in the movie. What do you mean I held her Ooh. back? I don't no, get well, that. I, well, no, no, Rich, I, no offense. Uh, but the... Uh, no, 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 like, uh, she's doing her voice. So it, 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 it right. was cut in a way where it was like when she was doing her voiceover, you walked in and you're like... Hey, shut up. This is stupid. It was. Like you. Like, but that's right. like how he is on the podcast. Yeah, that's real. That's... Yeah, but that was, it, it was stupid. Sometimes you have to uh, let a person well, no, no, know I... what they're doing is stupid. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, I thought he was I, holding I her back, too, sir. Please continue. No, I, I guess, but it goes back to what Jim was body. saying was there's other ways to say things. Well, actually, I'm trying to say, like, well, Bonnie, in, in the way it was cut, in the way, I don't, you know, maybe it was, like, just planned for the, for the thing, but... Um, you know, when the way it was cut, Bonnie just kind of like her, her, cut. her head went down, her shoulders slumped. In this podcast, if you if you kind of make a comment, it's just like, well, fuck you, Rich. <laughs> I know. I've, okay. I've given up on yeah. trying well, to hide anything yeah. anymore. Well, listen, thank you for all your support. And uh, yeah, we're done with you. How uh, do you hang up on people? How do you guys hang up on people? I hope he has the mouse over there and he loves to use it. Bonnie, he'll just cut him off in the middle of the... Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, who cares? Yeah, yeah. We don't and give a I try, shit. I yeah. know, there's I more, this nice is what I say people. to callers. There's more where you came from. I try to be nice to <laughs> You try to be nice when you shouldn't. Like to a caller, like when it's time to go, just go, all right, thanks, and hang up. You're extra courteous, <laughs> and you're extraordinarily rude to people you should be nice to, which are people who are serving you food. And well, you know, I've seen you do it. I admire you for it. I admire no. Rich's ability to say what I am too much of a coward to say. But you, the way you say it is no, barbaric. We got in an argument. <laughs> we got in an argument because I yelled at. I told this girl that was speaking to me in a high waitress voice. You know that you know how they do that voice. Yeah, I am your server. Yeah, yeah they're, they're I killable. Told her, yeah. I said, look, please. Hi just... guys, how you doing tonight? Yes, my name is my name is uh, Betsy. I'm your yeah. server. It's yeah. probably some kind of like bio, biological thing that so you make I, more money if you speak I, in a higher. I said yeah. to her, well, they want something from me. They want a tip, so they yeah, just but, get that fucking voice on. But I said to the waitress and Bonnie, I go, you could speak in your real voice. So you're hanging with your friends. Talk to us like that. Can you believe that? No, I because I'm not. That's four not years humiliating old. to her at all. She's no, it's like, not. oh. Fine. Finally, someone, <laughs> someone, someone sees someone the real, real. me. Thank someone you. Someone real. <laughs> <laughs> no, she loved it. She wasn't like... She, she was like, I, this is my real voice. <laughs> what? No. no I, the other I'll be right back to... with your things. Did... One time somebody goes, uh, here's a knife for you to go choppity chop chop. And he goes, I'm going to stab you. <laughs> I, I So far, I'm team boss on these, even though even though he's rude. He's really he's rude. He's really rude. He's not but a he's good person. Never, but he's never been in a... Like, he's never had a job like that where, you know, yeah. hospitality. But even if he did, it wouldn't matter. He would still say that stuff. Yeah, Rich would never consider, like, well, hey, I wouldn't like that if they were rude to me. No, because he no. didn't. Yeah, you're right. Because he thinks everything he does is perfect and everything no. everybody else does no. is wrong. No, listen, when I, if I'm doing something wrong. Wait, wait, hey, we're talking. If I do something <laughs> wrong. If, listen, when I do my job, I do it right. Okay, if I do do it wrong, I expect to be fucking, you know, abused or. Whatever. You Did know. get a haircut just for this taping? Who no, gets a, he it. got a haircut in the middle of the taping. Who Did gets really? a haircut in the middle of a taping? It's a, good, it's a weird cut. You don't like my... It's like Frankenstein. It's no, really it, it looks like... It's a Frankenstein. Caesar. I'm telling you what it looks like. Oh, yeah, it does look like Caesar, too. That's why I got it, because Caesar... I just want... I'm tired of fucking dealing with my hair every day. You know, doing this and the, And I just say, cut it. You know, I... I, I met, who, what do you mean, who gets a haircut in the middle of a pie, though? What's the big deal? You do it before. You don't do it in the middle. Well, most people, yeah, they try to keep a consistent look throughout. No, it's a fucking haircut. Um, we were having we did our po we did our podcast today. Comes out on Thursday, but we had a big argument about this, and we wanted to ask you his opinion. Okay, here's the deal. I'll, I'll give you the scenario and tell me how you feel. We stopped in at Caroline's. People, hold on your calls. We stopped in. <laughs> We yeah, stopped, the we boards sto are lighting up. <laughs> we stopped in the Carolines after the show here last week. And they had, like, I guess their open mic bringer show. They said, you want to go on? So, I said, yeah, I went on. It was a great set. I fucking crushed, actually. This has nothing to do with the story. No, it, really does. Way. It, does. it does. No, it is. It is. It does something to do with it. So I, I killed at an open. I was the best one on. Exactly. They were all there to see their friends. They didn't know I was coming <laughs> on, Rich. But wait a second. That's, that's the point of the story. Okay. So I, I get off, I have a great set, and I'm just standing, and there's a girl standing on the wall. Let's say, on a 1 to 10 scale, she was a 15. Wow. I, I'll show you a picture of her. Please we can go on, on Facebook. She and look at, yeah, uh, well, Okay, I, so I, he, I'm standing next to him, I and he says to... 
he says to the girl that's that's running the show, or the woman that's running the show, he says, "Is that a comedian?" Already, it's like slightly awkward because I'm right there. Yeah. And she goes, <laughs> "Yeah." And he walks over to her like immediately. She's wearing, by the way, like a sequined skirt this this big. Good. And uh, he goes, "Are you a comedian?" And she goes, "Yeah." And he goes, "I, I can help your career." Is that? And then he walked away. Is but that? Like, all, but it's kind of like is hey, that I can creepy? Help you. It's more of an ego, like me being like, "Hey, I'm Rich Foss. I can help your career." You know what I mean? It's a lie. <laughs> first of all, yes, we never got into that because we were so busy yeah, focused on. Wait, the wait, no, wait. were you joking? Yeah, because he was a good first looking. First of all, girl. when I first asked him if he was joking, he said no. And I said, you should say you're joking. It's the only out you have. Yeah. Well, I was joking. It's a joke. When you see a hot girl, you get off stage and you go, you know, you know she's new. She's had a uh, Do you have her name? Mic. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and it, well, I'll show you pictures of her. And then I go, I get off stage, hey, you know, I can help your career. Obviously, she knows she's very attractive. She knows I'm a headliner. So, obviously, it's a joke, right? What do you think it is? Like, I'm going to really, you know what I mean? Do you see what I I'm saying? I think it's fine. I think it's fine that y you did whatever you wanted to do. And you saw, if, it, if, you, if you were joking, then I think it's totally fine. Well, it's it didn't seem like you were joking. When I joking asked if you were joking, flirt. It was a you joking said, no, flirt. I didn't know you were still standing there. You said, I thought you were in the kitchen. There's that honesty coming to bite you in the okay, ass. <laughs> yes. So that's what made me think like, but it wasn't about me and him being like, you know, it was, it was disrespectful to me on a level, but that's fine. I'm used to that but the fact don't is, say is you're used to it i never do it <laughs> a couple times in 10 years shut up stupid okay yeah no he's never said that to me oh, yeah, he oh really now you're getting upset about i'm i'm t i'm retelling a story i'm getting upset because you keep interrupting me and the, the part that i find the most creepy is that that girl had no idea he was joking not joking she just Oh, sorry, go ahead. She just sees this old man walking <laughs> over to her, <laughs> going, I can help your career. <laughs> okay, so she emailed him and was like, hey, no, so, uh, you know, gave him a couple of compliments about his act, which I think is what he was fishing for all along. No. And then she said, wants help with her career because, and he's like, oh, I can't believe she wants help. Well, that's what you said to her. Well, yeah. she Which says is, the worst part about this whole thing is it creepy or not? It, it's it hardly. I'll tell you what wouldn't be creepy: a friend who really can help her, who's single. Why don't you have, help but, a fucking friend out and help her at the same time? I would, but I, listen, I would. <laughs> you are creepy. Yes, I, I am. am. I, would, I know I am. I don't know if she would like to go out with a black guy named Keith. Uh, <laughs> I, here's here's what it is. It was kind of like, hey, I'm, a, you know, it, at, at a, at a, at, in a situation like that, I'm like if Chris Rock walked into the cellar, when I walk into a place like that with all open microphones. You're mic not like Chris Rock. By the no. way, hold on. That's a terrible example. Chris Rock walking into the cellar is not the same as you walking into that open mic. Yeah, it's pretty no, it's much not. it is. No, it's cause, not. Yeah, because I'm let's, so accomplished. Let's them. get a lady's take on this. Megan, Megan, do you think that's a creepy thing for for Rich to do? Yeah, it's very creepy. See? You don't just walk over to women. You didn't even see her do stand-up. She knows you didn't see her do stand-up. And she's like, oh, this guy just walked over to me and said, I can help your career. But the funny thing, like, knowing Voss, that's funny, because I know that that's, that's, that's the type of thing that the laugh comes in that you're such an ass. Yes. You right. couldn't be this big of an ass. But with you, it's like... Uh, you might have kind of meant it. Like, that's the hard part with you is like anybody else saying that, I'd go, they're absolutely kidding. But you didn't indicate you were joking. You just I walked just away like you meant it. That's crazy. And I think he did mean it, though. But that's the thing. But I'm just saying I'm Rich Force. I can help your career. And then I walk away. That's he just wants to say I'm Rich thinks that you disrespect me all the time. We say it again? Megan thinks you disrespect me all the Who's time. Who's Megan? Megan, what do you look like? <laughs> um, I have blonde hair and blue eyes. How tall are you? 5'7. How much your weigh? Oh, you don't um, have to answer these I, fucking stupid I, questions. Don't, no, Megan. You don't need to answer these. Look at the, look at the, the fucking. These are not good-looking people that <laughs> are on. asking you to identify yourself. Okay, these are hideous, hideous people. But I bring money to the table, so that over, <laughs> okay. that overrides so whatever. a lot. Whatever. If you want to, if you want to email bring, Jim later with your height and your weight, you may do that. I bring I'm not going to cock block anybody, but we're just. We're getting something else I from Megan right he now. Brings money Jim and I, Norton at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> he brings money and I bring if personality. If you're less than 127 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Megan. Uh, I'm calling because every time a guy calls in and tells Bonnie she's super fucking hot, Rich always says, 
She ain't all right. What, what do I say? What kind of standards do you have? Yeah, you're, you're always like, what kind I don't of, see it. What kind of standards or? do I have? She was standing against a wall at Caroline's. <laughs> <laughs> She was eight so, feet tall, yeah, 110 to, uh, pounds. This girl. I just wanted to say that that's bullshit because Bonnie is hot, and you should say, yeah, that's right. I tell my wife she's good looking all the time, okay? When there's I, no one else around, yeah. Thank well, you. What, what am I going to do? Go, hey, good looking? You know, I, I compliment you all the time. I, I want to hear the email. What did you read the email? No, the girl. Oh yeah, did he, he didn't. He didn't me. bring it up. Why? Thank you, Megan. She Facebook me, and, I, and I'll help her. I said, send me a video. I'll look at. It. I'll give her some pointers. Well, What's the big deal? What did she say in the email? She said, I saw. Uh, I, first of all, I liked, you know, da da da. Your, that one bit you do about the uh, whatever, oh. and she said, look, if we can get together, have coffee, and go over some stuff or a drink, you know. So I, then I wrote back to her. I go watch. Women aren't funny. This way she'll know. Woman. He still doesn't say right. it right. I said women. What? I, I, I said, you're allowed to cough into the mic on our show. Just not you. I know. <clears throat> it's, 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 it's unprofessional. I'm trying it's to be professional. Do you have a cold? or is No, it's just right, when I eat. No, it's, no, no, it's nothing. You know. Yeah, I fucked a nurse in Dallas. No, <laughs> it's just a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that fucking so a man finally killed Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> um, Joe, so I'll look Joe's at, on I'll, your I'll, side, by the way. I want to see what she looks like. All right, I'll, I'll get to get her. Joe, her do you name think Rich we'll is creepy? What's that? Do you think Rich is creepy, or you would do the same thing? No, you're a lot of fun. Just, I just wanted to finish Rich's sentence when he went up to that girl and says, "I could help your career." Oh, wait a minute, I forgot I'm married. Right. He should have at least said something. He says that he told her to watch Women Aren't Funny. Yes. To, to, so that he... She'll she know could, he's married. Yes, yes. But it's like, really? She has to watch a 87 a documentary? minutes? Yeah. <laughs> no, but <laughs> she'll fuck? learn as a female comic some stuff. Oh, my God. I'm trying to help There's her. There's nothing worse than someone saying, I can help your career, and then when you ask for help, they show you their project. <laughs> What a disappointment. Oh, God. That's like fucking Amway. That's what that is. <laughs> Pyramid scheme. <-der>. Bye, Joe. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's it's like... But the thing was is that he it's didn't... It's worked 2,000 times. <laughs> he didn't say, like, I can help your career, and then, like, ha-ha, you know, whatever. Right. I'll talk to you later. Have a good show. It was just, I'll help your career, and then he walked away. And clearly, she didn't know you were joking because she emailed you. She's probably like, to her, like I said, she's probably like to her mom, like, do you know this guy, Rich Foss? And her mom was like, oh, honey, when I was pregnant, I'd already seen him <laughs> ten times. He's amazing. Well, I watched kind of rap, him though. 30 years ago. <laughs> now, if I emailed her, she'd get creeped out and wouldn't get back to me. He's got that kind of rap. It's amazing. Yeah, Boss is amazing. But what I'll do, I'll look well, at the video. Because people give him such slack because it's like, oh, it's Rich Foss. Like, he's got that. No, but he's also, women like him. It's uh, he's, got, he's a fucking Hall of Famer. I hate to say it. Believe <laughs> oh, me. I hate God. to say it. But that's been working for you. Like, long before you guys were together, I'd be out on the road with him. And, I'd, you know, me, fucking troll boy. And Boss <laughs> is like, don't touch his dick. And they would. He has that, he's magic. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I'll tell you, there's a certain thing with women sometimes is that they want, there's a certain look you want when you're fucking a guy, which is like, you want the guy to look like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm fucking this chick. Yeah. And I think like, they look at Rich and they see that. Like, look, he has it now. <laughs> What? Like a dumbstruck? <laughs> like, like, wow, this is incredible. I it's never every, thought this would happen to me. That's mostly every guy you went out with that goes, I can't believe I'm fucking this chick. Well, that's why I went out with him, because I like that look. Okay, when you're, that one boyfriend, when he fucked you and you, you almost, he almost smothered you, you couldn't get out from under him? How about that story? Oh. You fucked Bobby Kelly? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> First of all, we'll get back on topic. This guy lost 100 pounds to look like Bobby Kelly. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll get off topic, then I'm going to get back on topic. That fucking Tom Sizemore interview was fucking unbelievable you guys did. Oh, wait, were you here for that? No, I listened to it on the... Oh. Just unbelievable. Yeah, he's, he's great. Fucking, he was great. Just yeah. great. Yeah. All right. Oh, Thank somebody you. wants to ask you something about Texas. Sure. Go ahead, David. Hello? Hi, yeah. David. Fuck yeah, Chipper. What's up, buddy? Hey, uh, when are you going to come to Texas, man? I was in Dallas not long ago, sir. <laughs> Don't you hate the week you after you leave? Yeah. Man. What's that? I'm, I'm a big fan. Big fan of all three. Bonnie, you're fucking hilarious. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I don't see it. <laughs> hey, Rich. What? Rich, you're still an asshole. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, David. 
Right. I'm a big fan, Norm. I not big enough to know you were in town last week. Oh, so, oh, Texas is a big state. I won't go back to Houston because I don't draw there at all. Austin, I really enjoyed, but Houston, I won't go back to. Where, you, where were you, Rich? Where hi, was I? You're doing, hi, you're doing a radio show. Hi, well, that Twitter will fucking wait. I'm not Twitter. I'm trying to find the girl's name so Norton can look her up on Facebook. Well, we're going to take a break in 15 minutes. I think we should do it on air so we could see her. Like, I, yeah, however you want to do it. I don't uh, want to give her a name. No, no, no I'm not going to give her a name. But wait, well, you want her to call in to see if that... We should get her to call in to see if it's creepy. Because I bet you she was like, yeah, it's pretty fucking creepy. She'll say no because she wants him to help her. She'll go, no, I knew he was joking. Oh, no, Bonnie, I love you. Oh, no, I know you guys are married. I watch that movie. Did you really tell the waitress to not use that high voice? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he is, first of all, not uh, just one time. He's the That's best. like part of his thing. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. I envy it. You know, I, I just... The, the people who do that better than anybody. Amy... Amy Schumer can do that. She has this fucking ability just to say things that make me cringe. With, but I admire that she says them, and you can do the same thing. Hey, is that okay if I... No, it's not. Oh, <laughs> humiliating. <laughs> but I wish I had the fucking courage. <laughs> you- well, the problem with being with Rich, honestly, is that like you know when you're in a relationship, when you're in a couple... One person always has to be. If there's good, if one person's being bad cop, the other person has to be good right. cop. Otherwise, it's mayhem. I don't know what happens. It's, there's a real breakdown. We've gone out together and both attacked. Well, not re- regular people. Like we'll both attack Bobby Kelly or we'll both attack our manager or something. But and then that is fun. We yeah. enjoy that. But uh, out in public, if he's trashing someone like he, he'll he'll get mad at an employee that's um like at target you have to swipe your no they want id when you buy nicorette swipe, gum. they have to swipe the id in order for the nicorette gum to go through right. they know right? they look at it yeah they want your id no they swipe it they have to it's just the way that to. it is it stinks but they have to it's they have to do it and he will argue with them and and be mean to them and I'm and it's like they're just they, they're like do you want it or not you're you blaming know? the message i do the same thing whenever yes. i go to buy my fucking sinus board they um like D, yeah. you have to give it and i, I want to yell every time and i'm like they just it's not their no, fucking I, fault listen i'm a blue co- i like the blue car co- I, I am Shut a blue up, collar guy blue collar. no i stick up for the blue w. all right good okay <laughs> <laughs> he's too quick it's fucking i i really am like for the you know what i mean yeah and like when i see a guy you know doing a fucked up tub job you know, uh, don't take the call. It's my daughter. It might I be don't important. care. No. It's... Okay. How do you turn? How do you not take it? Just leave it alone. A new iPhone? Yeah. Nice. iPhone 6 Plus. <laughs> no, it's from <laughs> 1992. Yeah. That's the size they used to be. <laughs> what? And he's got a, And I told him he can never put that to his ear. Please, right. Right. This can't. is the new style, you baby. Gotta just... you're, so, you're, so, you're so June 2014, man. This is fucking... You don't like that new iPhone? I don't want him to be walking around with it to his ear. It looks like you've got an iPad You look like a midget. Ear. You look like a midget with a regular And phone. your hands. I mean, it really doesn't help out that situation. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get this girl to call in to see if she thinks I was well, creepy. Well, get her name. Well, how am I going to get... I got her name. I don't well, have her then, number. Facebook her real quick. Say, look, yes. would you call into the radio show and give the number? Give the hotline number. No, because you're going to make it sound... You're going to make her feel bad. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'll believe you. Whatever, whatever damage she does, I'll clean up on the other yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Look, at he'll let, let him be the hero and see okay, what happens. Okay, hold on. Yeah, let me just clear my throat before she calls in, so I don't want to hear me doing on. that. It'll sound... Okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah so are you funny? <laughs> I... I all right, I'm gonna. You guys talk while I email her. I don't um, know. Just talk it into say. Siri. Do you but use does Siri? he do this all the time? Like, is this something like I just happen to watch it? Is this like how he goes through life? This just is rich. creeping girls out. Uh, yeah, it's not creeping her yeah. out. Saying like, I'm just being like a fucking headliner. Like when you go when you go to get your haircut. When uh, last time I went to get my haircut, they go, Oh, I think your husband was in here a couple of days ago, and I was like, Oh, probably he gets his haircut all the time, and they're like, Yeah. He's in here a lot. We notice. I mean, what the fuck does that mean? He, Rich, is the thing is, he says what we people want to say. Like, every comedian seeing that girl, the purity of what he did was, every one of us would want to walk up and go, all jokes aside, I can help your career. You're pretty. <laughs> but yeah. you're not married. And <laughs> no. your wife is instead. Like, I'm cool. Like, I, you know, let him do his thing. That's fine. You know, I want him to flirt with girls and, and enjoy life. But that's... That's crazy to do to, to to be like that free in front of your wife. Well, that should also show you that you know 
Yeah, you know, that, that's almost like when someone does something so stupid, you're like, all right, if they're stupid enough to do that, they don't know any better. You know, that's that you did something that all of us would want to do. I kind of, <laughs> even though I think it was stupid to do in front of her. I thought I didn't know she was in the room. I, still. I, that's the beauty of him. <laughs> like, is that he admitted that? I would immediately I go, was yeah, of course I knew you were there. Standing right beside him, he was like, "Is that a comic?" <laughs> <laughs> I could help your career. How humiliating, mean, Rich. Oh, my God. I got caught. <laughs> yeah, but then he wouldn't go like, I go, were you joking? And he was like, uh, no. I was like, y- it's your only way out. You've got to say you were joking. You I gave him it. another chance at it. He goes, no. You I should have immediately to- said you were joking. But I don't want yes. to. Yes. I always be, yeah, not joking, being at, being like a fucking cool, you know what I mean. No. I don't you want to say you're joking. Fingers. I'm joking. I don't want the girl to think, now I'm going to help her. I'll, I'll send her some tips. I'll look oh. at her video. Oh, yeah. Watch our document. Download it from iTunes. But also. A piece of shit. Who wants Rich Boss tips? That's just not a real like, sought after come like, on. Like, like, when much? someone says, I can help you, they're not thinking like, oh, I hope he sends me 10 tips. <laughs> well, look, I, well, look, I can get her work probably when she's ready Is for Is she it. funny? I didn't see her. Then that. why would you help her? Well, I, got, I started watching why? her video. Why? Because you haven't seen her. You'll, you know why. I, but I always have... Uh, yeah, it's true. I need a new opener anyway. Okay, huh? I need a new opener. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll try to do. What's that? She was at an open mic night Doesn't matter, so in me. a sequin <laughs> skirt. She hasn't been doing it very long. She can still afford new clothing. Okay? So you're so, saying that that's, she's still got the day job money. She's still... Okay. Yes. Should I call her call in? Should I email her to of call course. in? Of course. Once... once okay. It's what, like... You can always tell a middle act... Because they're they're wearing clothes that are almost ten years old. Right, right, right. Then once they get to headlining, they can buy new clothes again. She may have a boyfriend or a husband. I'm anyway. sure she does. Well, the did you look she... in the about part of the Facebook? Just pictures. Well, you gotta look at about to see if they're in a relationship. But that, see, like I was, I was in there looking at her pictures. Yeah, why would you I'm look at right pictures? I'm right here. Yeah. No, to see if she was a comic like, like that. The, the thing that annoys me the most is that you're so jealous. Is he jealous, really? Yes, of anything I do. I can't. I have to count to ten in my head any time I talk to a man, in case ooh, then he'll lose his mind. He's, He's all, mad. He, he I, I couldn't talk to Keith for the first three years that that uh, I was dating Rich. Well, that apparently, Rich reads the Bible. He understands because he thought <laughs> he one day thought he saw a look exchange he between did. us. There was a look. And he's made that into like somehow we, Keith and I slept together. Had you? No, okay. not really. What do you mean, no. not really? What does that mean? <laughs> no, we. I didn't even know Keith before Rich. How do you spell this? Oh, I got to discuss. We were discussing. What should I put? Can you call our radio show? We are discussing how we met. Okay, this guy thinks how I'm being a character for the show. I approached you. Rich. What? No, this guy's from Queens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go I ahead. Wanted- I want to ask Jimmy because he would be more objective. Okay. Is Bonnie is Bonnie really like this? What do you mean, like what? Like all the time, just all she does is give Rich a hard time. I can't stand it. I feel bad for him. Well, Thank you. I don't want to be this person either. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, every time we come to the radio show, I say I used to be a fun person, and now I'm Cunty McFarlane all the time. But it's hard not yes, to. Yes. Yes. That's, that's the good way to describe you. But you got to say, sir, too, too. She's the only person who could take his brutal jokes too. Like, like coming, like the way they smash each other. Like literally, just now, you like, you know, someone said you were hot, and he's like, I don't see it, and you laughed. Like anything he says, it's mean. You laugh at. Like you're not gonna. Yeah, she's. Uh, don't get me wrong. Absolutely a cunt, but you, you're not gonna. <laughs> Thank you. But, but, but you're, for a second, I was no, but you're not gonna get the, like someone who's can take a joke that way either. You know what I mean? Like she takes a lot of fucking brutal jokes. Any woman I've ever dated would have left me for. I guess. Half I mean, I jokes. only. I only. Know really? from oh, yeah. Show. yeah. Well, no, listen but, to our podcast. We also have a podcast. A new one's coming up this Thursday. A new podcast. Uh, uh, you can get it on All iTunes right. or Riotcast. My uh, wife hates me. Punchy All right. Okay. See I'm you later there, Rich. Fuck. I emailed the girl. My daughter's calling. She goes, I don't care. I could be hurt. Say we're do we're working we're doing a show. And look at Opie gets it. He does uh, he does his phone too as yes, he's doing it. It takes you a half hour. All right. I'll, I'm, hold Did on. she say I could be hurt? Yeah. Oh, then she's not hurt. No one would say I could be hurt. Say we could be doing our radio show. I said we are doing a radio show. And what'd she say? I don't care. I could be hurt. Oh uh, well, the fucker. All right, so here, maybe the girl will call she's in. She's six. That's kind of young to type that one. <laughs> she's she's a Siri. <laughs> no, that's the other one. Oh. The, uh, the other one? The yeah, other he has one. no sense of humor. I do. I, you don't think I fucking knew what he was talking about? Yeah. I have no sense of humor, really? 
They call me Mr. Oh my Sense of Humor. God. No, they Every don't. Time I come in, <laughs> Mr. Sense of Humor. <laughs> <laughs> What's Hitler's nickname? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, all right, so take a call or two, and then we'll get back. Maybe this girl will call in, and we'll discuss it. I'll show Norton what she looks like. Peter, are you from Hillsborough? I am from Hillsborough. New Jersey? Yes. I almost tripped over Rich at the movie theater two weekends ago. Why were you at the movie? It was a kid's movie. I was a kid's movie. I was with my kids. Oh, my okay. You were and nice. I couldn't believe I was watching a movie with movie stars. Ooh. <laughs> well, you nailed it. <laughs> Hillsboro Power Couple at the theater. What'd you see? Have you ever uh, seen us in Quick Check? Saw. We saw uh, that kid. Alexander. Kids... We, what's... And I know, I, I know Bonnie's favorite part. What? <laughs> what? Oh, because <laughs> my daughter asked me on the way out. You were eavesdropping. <laughs> oh, my God. I was just walking by. I swear I was just walking by. <laughs> what was her favorite part? Army arms. Army Jesus. arms. That was my favorite part. I was laughing pretty hard at that movie. Yeah, you my, really enjoyed it. Because my daughter, my middle daughter, was laughing. Whenever she laughs, I just what I can't stop laughing. Alexander and the really bad, horrible, terrible day or whatever. Steve Carell movie. Oh. Funny. It's a kids, He's funny it's dude. It's a kids movie. Huh? Okay. Yeah, it's for kids. And it's very much a, all the funny parts are in the trailer, but I was just uh, I was very impressed to finally see you guys in my hometown. So. No. I just wanted to say hi, neighbor. Did you grow up there? No, no, no. I'm a transplant. From where? Upstate New York. Oh. You know, Michael Ian Black grew up in uh, Hillsboro. He did, but oh. he doesn't anymore. He lives in Connecticut. I don't know. Awful factoid. I think it's just the three of us now in Hillsboro. Wait, you're famous? No, not at all. Uh, that's, so, that's, that's just a two but year. I love that like you put us in a group of fame. <laughs> you're you're a movie Wait, star as well. So famous. <laughs> we are kind of famous if you think yeah. about it. Well, you, guys, yeah. you guys absolutely are famous, and you, we live in like a three block radius. So I'm I'm going to pretend I'm famous just for living nearby you. Okay. So in a place that burned down. Peter, uh, Rich likes to wear these tank tops around. Now it's cooler weather, thank God he doesn't do it anymore. But like the kind where like his nipples show. Yeah, yeah, he's always worn them. And he'll wear them around and I'm like, people recognize you and they're gonna see you and he's like, Well, it's at the gym but he'll be like, Go to the gym and then he's like, well, I'm gonna go get some food. I'm you know, then he does all this stuff. It's so embarrassing. Do you embarrass when he wears those shirts? Oh it's <laughs> You don't think he looks good in them? It's so I, I didn't think I, I didn't think there was anything embarrassing about his uh camo his camo uh, capri pants. Camouflage. Movie. Yeah. You know, I wore those because they have a lot of pockets and you can sneak snacks in easier. Yeah, do you see us eating? We never... Oh. Actually, we bought we bought popcorn. You, 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 not what you did. But usually, like, we'll bring, like, weird snacks in, yeah, like, seaweed I don't like, snacks. And, yeah, I want healthy snacks at the movies. I don't want their crappy food. What do you eat? Who oh, wants healthy uh, snacks at the movies? Granola bar. But you'll get a Diet Coke and... and you can hear the like the bottle open of a duck. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure. Like I always think, like, what if they start implementing, like, where they look in your bag before you go in? We're fucked if that happens. If you're they... not fucked because you're at the Hillsboro Movie Theater. It's you and five other people. I know, but they it, don't care. It's embarrassing, Peter. I, I, I next time uh, we see you, uh, don't make eye contact. We're famous. I will. I will. I, I'll uh, be stealthy and creepy. Bye, Peter. Did you buy popcorn when you were there? No, Bobby. Uh, we, we bought the popcorn. I, I like bought popcorn. I bought popcorn, but he won't. He generally won't allow it. Why? Too much butter. But I did. Oh, okay. Get it without butter. Get a plane. He goes, oh, okay. Like I thought it was a money thing. I was going to spit on him. But if no, it's it is a money <laughs> thing. <laughs> Go spit on him. I want to see what cum tastes like. <laughs> a, that's mean to say to me, and B, it's a lie from you. <laughs> Are we taking a break? No, in five minutes. <laughs> I've been listening to you guys, and what you guys have have had some really good interviews, some really good guests, man. Thank you. Fucking unbelievable. Uh, well, the Tom thing, I heard it. I even listened to the repeat and he even knew what he was going to say. That's how interested in that fucking yeah, guy was. Yeah, he was really... That was our third one with him, and uh, the first one was great. The second one was a little awkward, and then, you know, we had, me and him had talked after that, and then the third one was great. And then you had, what's his name, uh, that created All in the Family? Oh, Norman Lear. Fucking... He's a... 
how the fuck can you not be like in awe? He signed my book, Ed. He called me Ed. I had a great interview with him, and I'm like, ah, oh, we bonded. Uh, he's like, see you later, Ed. I'm like, oh, oh fuck, God. fuck me. Hey, do you know um, do you know Jason Nash? I know the name. He's a comedian in, L- yeah. in L.A., and he calls in, and he's on the line right now. Oh, let's talk to Jason. Yeah, he hasn't called. Uh, Jason. You- Jason. Hey guys. <laughs> we, we, Hi. We, what, where have you been? It's drive time out here. <laughs> I know. LA's drive time. Where how come you haven't called in a while? Are you mad at us? I found this other husband and wife show. Oh no. Who really good. Ralphie and Lana? Sid and Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> They're less fighting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Healthier. No, I don't know. I I called a couple times. You didn't pick up. That's not oh, true. No. no way. No way. Maybe I I was had Opie in studio. <gasps> and uh oh. You no, you talked when we had Opie. We picked up with you when, when Opie was in. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, Jim, anyhow, great show today. Jim great great show. I listened to uh, O and J today. Oh, thanks you know, man. Thanks Jason. I never know what to call it, but Yeah, just, just Opie show. I, I guess it's fine. We got Tyson tomorrow. He's always good. Mike Tyson? Yeah. <laughs> no, the, yes, the chicken no. guy. <laughs> <laughs> Tyson Foods? <laughs> no. Jesus. Yeah. Well, I, wa- I wanted to see uh, a couple weeks ago, Rich was talking about having a three-way, or no, going not a three-way, he was talking about going with another woman. And I wanted to get an update on that. Uh, I, I mean, you... You you don't like sex, right? What you mean, me, Bonnie, and another woman? No, no, no. You were like I and this girl, and Bonnie was like almost. This is what I love about the show. Bonnie was almost like getting in. She was almost like, oh, fine, just go. Oh, already. oh. I was saying, yeah, because I feel bad. Like sometimes during a show or something, Rich will be like, Bonnie, come in here, and I'll have to go into the showroom, and he'll be like, Is it okay if I go home with this girl? And I'm always like, Yeah, but I feel bad for the girl. You know that she has to. <laughs> see that on top of her but yeah no it, look he's, jo- he's joking when he says that i don't yes, know i, I don't never. know I now listen. i don't know because i saw the well, creepiness in action girl? what's that i would never with the girl no listen to me if i'm ever talking to a girl like that i'm just going through her probably to get to her brother but i would never <laughs> less creepy i would never listen you when you when you land somebody like bonnie it's like it's like land. it's like hitting gold no, that's not. It's like hitting. It's like striking gold. Like she's everything I'd ever dreamed of. What's the rest I, of that song? I don't know. Though, These right? fucking trite statements are really upsetting me, though. <laughs> she's know. the top of the tops. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're the best of the best, Bonnie. Top of the heap. <laughs> I always say this. I know I've said it before, but you know, in like in a romantic comedy, when at the end the, the guy is always like giving the girl the speech, like you you always lose your glasses and they're on the top of your head, and you don't know your left from your right, yeah. and they go through like. Things that are Very supposed to be specific. charming. Yeah. yeah, thanks. And Rich would never be able to do that. He'd be like, oh, you're tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's, how's the movie you're going, my Jason? my kid's mom. It's doing good. Cool. It's doing good. Uh, I met Ray Liotta the other night. How was that? It was great. I saw him in Barney's recently. And I've interviewed him twice. What were you doing in Barney's? That's where I go for cologne. I, I, <laughs> I get the finest colognes. <laughs> and I wanted to buy a sweater, Mr. Hot Shit. And I said they were $1,200, and I fucking amscrate right out of Barney's. <laughs> fuck $1,200. You, you, you can afford that. I'm not spending 1200 on a sweater. Him? Yeah, what the fuck? I'm going to wind up getting cum on the back of it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> not on the front. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you, you ever have it? him on? I get it. Uh, she got it. I said the back. I, I said I'm going to get cum of it on the I back. I was repeating how funny it was. No, you tried to upgrade it. No, said, I was oh. repeating it for real. Oh. I'm going. Yeah, oh. I got it. I didn't. I I don't know when Jim makes those jokes if I'm supposed to make eye contact or look away, like a, a little bit of both, like a em- embarrassed, you know. Hey, 1800s hey Jason. Victorian woman. Jason, you're married, right? So, yeah. like, as a joke, like, say you got off stage at as the Improv. As a joke, now he's using yeah. it as or, a joke. Or just as a, you get off stage at the Improv, you know, you're fucking well-known, you're a headline, you have a good set, and you see some hot open micer, and you walk by, you go, hey, you know, I could help your career. Is that creepy? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I'm on your side, Rich, believe me. I want to see you get laid more than Okay, anybody. goodbye. No, no don't hang up on him. But yeah, it is. It is. It's it's considered creepy. Uh, I have a lot of trouble with like you know m- moral things too. Like I, 
<laughs> I, I kind of go with what most people say, and I go, oh yeah, yeah, those those people are right. Oh, you, know. you just yeah, you're you're. You're, you're always oh, doing some kind of survey to find out where you're supposed to be. But you didn't even yeah, walk by yeah. and say it. You actually approached her separately. It was different. No, I just walked up to her. I go, you're a comic. She goes, yeah, I could help you out. I'm Rich Voss. And then I left. You know, just, I, you know what? It's, it's, it's blown out of proportion, I think. But I could see you saying that in a way that was funny. Yes. And, right. and it being fine. So but when I asked you if you were being funny, why didn't you say yes? Because I don't want to hurt the girl's feeling that she asked me to help her now. I don't want her to think I'm using her as a joke. Do you understand? So you rather have your chose, wife think you wanted to fuck yes, someone else? Yes. <laughs> yes. That makes no sense. I, so, don't, I don't want to hurt some uh, new comic and discourage her from doing comedy. You would rather have a 24-hour argument with your wife <laughs> than some fucking girl in a sequined skirt who could really probably give zero shits about you. She probably sends out 20 of those emails a week. You know, I mean, fucking guys probably be like, I can help you. And she's like, yeah, I got to write another one of these. <laughs> hmm. Well, I just don't want to hurt. I don't want to discourage her from doing comedy. That's all. And do I'm you not... do this everywhere you go? Never, never. Cause the hair ne salon? No. At the dentist? There's not one hot girl at the hair salon. You do this at the dentist? Do you? Do you? Uh... Yeah, I did at the dentist with a Russian girl. Well, let me tell you. I, are, you say, I... are you shocked that he said that or that he pronounced it dentist? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that look was for. <laughs> I asked the dentist. Then it was like you said no, and I named two places. Well, and the dentist was being funny because there was cameras there. there. There's a hot receptionist Ooh. at the dentist. Tell me more. Right? Mm. Is she single? Mm. So Is I she said, under 127 pounds? So I said to my dentist, does she ever ask about me? And he said, never. I go, where's she from? <laughs> and the dentist said, Russia, right? So then I was... Leaving the dentist, I went to the receptionist to book another appointment. I go, look, I can't come to the middle of November because I'm going to visit my relatives in Russia. She goes, get out of here. I go, yeah, they live right outside Moscow. She goes, so am I. I go, it's unbelievable that we have that much in common. You know, that's all. And I just left to plant a seed that she thinks. I got it. That's pretty. I, I admire that. That's pretty smart. Yeah. But I'm just doing it to fuck around. I'm yeah. fucking 50 something years old. 50 I'm what? Like, something. Um, I give him one a year, Bonnie. Maybe one a year. I give him how many are we up to? Nine seconds. Nine seconds. He can do anything he wants with anyone for nine seconds. Nine seconds. How about okay? I, I can. I'll bet your best uh, material twice. <laughs> <laughs> how about Whoa. how about I can? And I mean to him. How about I can help your career? Only took four seconds <laughs> for me to say that. Well, go ahead. If you no. can, look at if you can convince a girl to suck your cock for nine seconds, do it. I would never. Uh, we got to go to break, Jason. Thank you for calling in. We always love hearing you. He's our favorite. You're Hi, guys. you're the it's best. Good show. Bye. Yeah, great, good show. Bye, Jim. Thank you, Jason. Take Bye. care, man. Let's just go. Danny just wants to say hi because he's a big fan. So just let him say hi, and then we'll go to break. Where's Danny? He's a big fan of Jim's, not of yours. I'm sure he is of yours too. Danny. No, he isn't. Hey. Well, you know what? Hello, how are you? Hi. Big fan of My Wife Hates Me podcast, which is a disaster sometimes at the beginning. But this sounds amazing. Big fan of Little Jimmy. Thank you. And um, all I want to do is smile. This is amazing. And I just want to say hi. You're drunk. You yeah, he sounds drunk. You're drunk. No, maybe he is. He worked hard Drive all day. Drive time, L.A. He's... <laughs> he's oh, I want to do a smile. Oh, he's in Chicago. Uh, hey, thanks for calling in. We're going to go to break. And we, we just wanted to hi. say hi and thank you. Mommy thinks she's co you think you're so hi. cool that you're working the board now. All right. Uh, if you want to hang in or call back in a few minutes, people. Hello? All right. Well, I don't know how to go to break. Hello? I didn't know if she wrote back or... Oh, let me see. Whatever. What have you. We're here in studio... Are we on the air? We're on the air. No, we're yeah. on the air? Yes. All right. You kissed me on the air. Look oh, my that. God. I don't want people to think I kiss you like that. Um, Why don't you... Uh... Jim Norton is here with us. Yes. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for... Come back here in 12 hours. Being had. He's very funny. Jim, I say this to everybody. No one in this whole business, Howard, nobody, is as quick as you on radio. No oh, thank one. Thank you. No one. Thanks. Now you said that you're going to jinx me. What's that? You said that you're going to jinx me. The rest of the show, I'm going to be fucking... No, no, now let's see it. Yeah, exactly. Take a call. Yeah! Who do we got? Well, uh, Matt. 
I don't want you to get jealous, Rich, but Matt read a book. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it was Jim's, and he liked it. Oh, thank you. Matt? Yes. Oh, yeah, both books, actually. Thank um, you, Matt. Just great pieces of writing. I mean, you know, it, I got a laugh out of it, and, you know, I'm pretty sure that's what it was for. But, uh, Rich and Bonnie, I was just wondering, are you guys ever going to plan on coming out with a book? I mean, I visit my Barnes & Noble, I don't see any. Are well, you going to come out of the closet? Richard! Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, no I wasn't talking to Matt. I was talking to Norton. Oh. Stupid. The answer is someday. <laughs> I wasn't talking to Matt. No, Matt, Bonnie uh, uh, is writing a book, almost done. Sent it to the editor. Now, I just have to address the editor's notes. Now, you never yes. did that, right? You didn't address any notes? Sure, I would. That would oh. address the structural notes. Oh, okay. They didn't give me any joke notes. But she would say, because I had written those things originally, she'd be like, I think it's easier if you put this paragraph first and move that, because structurally it will help, like that kind of stuff. But okay, I wouldn't allow that, any yeah. jokes to be changed, yeah. No, right? she didn't try to change any actual yeah, writing, but she was like, maybe you don't need this if rethink it, or... Yeah, or, or hey, maybe you can a a expand on this a little bit, because... Yeah. You not as clear. Okay. That stuff's what an editor's for. Yeah, but I she's was great. My ed I, I think she's great. She gave me notes that I think are really. Yeah, it's always nice when you look at notes and you respect them, and you're not like, oh god, this fucking asshole. It's not, it's, it's not like getting notes when you were years ago at VH1 or MTV or something where there's like an intern trying to make funny and keep writing down jokes you should do, and they suck. Right, Those right, are bad notes. Right. See, uh, and what's this guy's name? Uh, Matt. 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 Also, yep. too, I'm, yep. I'm releasing my fourth my fourth uh, CD soon, so you know, like. Bonnie and Norton, and Norton does release a lot of uh, uh, content on, on CD and on video. I don't have four. I've never, yes, I've never made a CD or I don't or have four anything. CDs. You don't have four? Yeah, but you have four hour specials. No, I've got six CDs. I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> he real G in on that one, eh? <laughs> Do you have your six ones out? It's been out, yeah. Okay. So, uh... Oh, fuck. Kathy Griffin's done over 20 specials. No, she wow. hasn't. Wow. Has she really? Yeah, that's what she said on, uh, I was listening to her uh, I think she's funny. Yeah. What's that? She's funny. Yeah, she's all right. She's, she's pretty interesting in the I like her. interview. Because she felt like nobody really gave her a... Uh, We've always been fans of Kathy. The camera's making beeping. weird noises. It died. Oh. oh. Yeah. Did you bleed well, on it? <laughs> anyway, Matt, you got something else? Yeah, um, you know, I love the podcast, love the show, and uh, I definitely like listening to the OJ show every morning. So, I mean, keep up the good work, guys. Thank you. Thank you, you sound like you should do voiceovers. Like, does he sound like a cartoon character a little bit? <laughs> yeah, like if they ever used James Gum in a cartoon, you should do his voice. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Bye, Matt. Thank you. All right. Wait, where can we purchase Rich's new CD, asked Bill from Boston. Nowhere yet. The only way to get my new CD is if you see me at a club, because I'll sell them. But I'm not going to release it until we're done promoting the movie. I'm not going to cross-promote and try to promote, promote more than one thing. Okay. You know, so when... Uh, Bill, and, and, anything to add? I need it. It's still empty inside. It was so great. Thank you. This one, you know what? Thank you. I, <laughs> He's so not used to getting a compliment. No, He's just sort of no, getting like no, weird the, the first CD, picks. The first CD comics do are really good because it's like eight or nine years of, of stuff you built up. The second one, uh, but my third and fourth. My fourth first one, of all, hands you're doing, down. I, I will say this, and you know, ob obviously I, I, I'm not that complimentary to you <laughs> generally, but you are at the top of your game uh, material-wise right Thank now. You. I listened to you uh, for the first time in a long time and when we were in Amsterdam, and it was fucking great. Thank you. Doing good, doing good work. Thank you. Can you call the improvs? Thank you, Bill. You want to say anything else? Uh, I just have one other question. Uh, well, can I buy that CD when I'm seeing Jim's special in January? Are you yeah. attending my special? Thank you, sir. Are you going to be selling uh, Rich's CDs? Tickets. I'd love to. <laughs> every year, you had a free Voss CD with every ticket purchased. It's the deal I've been meaning to speak to you about. <laughs> I almost went to see... I, I don't know what I went to see you tape. I think it was your uh, HBO one, the first one, when you did her and didn't Patrice, all you guys yeah, did. Yeah, me, me and Kevin Brennan did it that night. Fly the Concords and Louie yeah. and Mencia. Yeah, it was ten of us. I was going to go sell my CDs outside your show. That would have been funny. Uh... I don't know why I didn't tell you. It just seems crazy that I wouldn't do something like that. Do what? Go at the club. Did Rich even see her set? Uh, no. No. Oh, Rick. No, no. We're not taking your call, but no. No, I didn't see her set. But Who Jim, cares? I already I already clicked on a, on Jim from New Jersey. Go ahead. Uh, good pedigree. 
Yeah, from South River, down kind of around there where you're from. We don't care. Hey, Just yeah, ask exactly. the question. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but I, I wanted to pay Jim a compliment on uh, Uncle Paul. It, thank you. It, it's fucking convincing. It's, thank you. It's my favorite I, thing that I do, including my own voice. I, I get uh, an erection like a victim would, <laughs> and it's... You know, we're taping this for TV. Exactly. Say hard on. <laughs> <laughs> Get, He's the quickest mind in I, showbiz. I, I, we I, have him here tonight, Jim yeah, Norton. Hard on. <laughs> Jim, you think you're ever going to like host a late night talk show? No, but I want to on Vice. That's what I want to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right, why I do those right. four episodes. You're so good at it. Thank you. I loved it. <laughs> but how, like, are they happy with it? They were very happy with it. And uh, I thought the thing that you and Sherrod did was my favorite thing that we did. Yeah, that that was great. That was so good. The, the th- but see, that's the thing. Nobody's doing stuff like that anymore, you know? Well, the reason that they're so slow is because they got all this money by these they're they're getting so much bigger that the reality is they say like yes we absolutely are going to do more of these but they have other shit that they're doing first and it's frustrating but i like those guys a lot so they let me do whatever i want i i don't understand Here's, I, so you're doing more yeah yeah we just don't know when I'm, oh. I'm, my time frame is so fucking i want it now i'm furious it's like it's been three months and it's like yes. well in the tv that's not we're, we're, we're you know if they get a tv network or whatever that's not that long a wait but why don't you could do something and on the, uh, along the lines of like between two ferns, you know, like Zach did. I mean, you have the well, resources. Zach. I don't want to do what Zach did. No, but I'm not no, saying he's that. He's saying like, do, but but that's in a way the same thing. He's doing it on a different uh, network. Zach is way. What Zach does is probably very cheap to shoot because yeah. it's, it's it's literally you two guys sitting there, two dumb mm-hmm. plants and a guy. Yeah. I have an audience. You've a, there's a monologue. It's a whole a lot more expensive because of oh, just yeah. the stuff that goes the into it. Set. I can't afford to do it myself. Okay, it was like a tough crowd set. It yeah. reminded me of like tough crowd. I wanted to like Mike Douglas or Dick Cavett, like old school, like yeah. the fucking orange rug. Just I, that's what I grew up with. That's what I liked. The I orange liked rug. Was that what stuck with you? Yeah, the, the orange. Shows. <laughs> yeah. I, that's who we. Yeah, no content, just the orange rug. <laughs> I remember an orange rug. Merv Griffin, Dick Cavett, Mike Douglas. Uh, my grandma used to watch all of them. All afternoon talk shows, all of them. You They're know, great. It's funny when um when I first came to new york and then i i went to la i I had a deal and or i was a deal was pending people were trying to get a deal and i had to like go to these network executives and and they would ask me like what my favorite show was on tv and i'd never watched tv so i would just make up like stuff that i'd heard I don't know why. Like, what would it's you so say? Funny. I remember Pico Junction. <laughs> yeah, it's like crazy shit that I never saw. Bonnie pitched a show back when years and years ago, which was great, where she would hunt the food and cook it herself. What was it? Like you were- hunting and cooking with Bonnie <laughs> McFarland. <laughs> <laughs> Hunty McFarland. <laughs> That's right. Hunty McFarland. It wouldn't work now, of course, because I'm a vegetarian. I mean, I easier. still, I would still hunt. I just wouldn't eat the food. Right. Okay. Now you pitch good show. Rich tells me everything you guys are going to pitch or when you've pitched over the years. You're really good at it. Like I, I, I have no idea how to crystallize it and just make a show, like a, a sellable product. But I hear the way you guys come up with stuff, and it's fucking amazing how good it is. I like I, how you said you guys. Oh, really? Um, yeah, I'm Curtis. <laughs> oh, God. You know. I'm joking. You're, you're a genius. I'm not a genius. 141 IQ. I'll take that test any day. Now, one of the things that you're a genius at is dealing with your ex-wife. Would yes. you say that's true? I'm good with her. We're good friends. Josh, what do you need to know? Rich is going to give you some tips. Are you in Seattle? Okay. Are you in Seattle? I am. I'm going I'm to be at your show. I just got VIP tickets today. At, at v- Parlor Live. Why would they get VIP tickets? I don't understand that concept. They're at available. Parlor Live. They were $10 more and I get a booth. I don't know. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, if you had a booth, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Did yeah. Link, Link, Lincoln had a booth. Rich, you going to go uh, golfing any of the days you're out here? No, I'm not. I was going to bring my clubs, but I'm playing so bad. I, you know, I don't know if I would have dragged them all the way across country to play just one day on Saturday. And and we got Chambers Bay. I'm not going. Yeah, but the following week, I'm going to North Carolina. I'm going to play. You know, Pinehurst and nice court. I mean, I need some time off because I'm not hitting. I'm completely. Thank like you for I've the call, sir. I know it's like. <laughs> yeah. I don't but know how long to let this go. I, like, I, I don't want to constantly be the first. Here's, here's, here's how long that one should go. Aren't you going to play go- 
I know, but then it gets back to like, oh, look at Cunty McFarlane at it again. But it's like there's no. I thought you wanted to talk about the ex-wife. I do, I do. I got a couple things, but hurry up. Right, so your uh, your advice on this. So I'm I'm at some point within the next couple weeks, I have to introduce my ex-wife to my now girlfriend, uh-huh. and I'm trying to see if uh, maybe you or Bonnie had some good tips on that. Uh, when I met Kelly, she took me aside and was like, "You don't have to do this." She was, she she really tried to give me a, like, she still tries to bond with me that way of, like, us both trashing you. But wait a second. Yeah, I mean, a little. (laughs) But wait, what what do you mean, your ex? How long have you been divorced or separated or whatever you are? Four years. Divorced, four years. All right, so. And does she have a new boyfriend, your ex? She uh, is married with child on the way now. Oh, so then it seems fine. Yeah, What's the problem? It's a big deal. She, she is never it your loved child? you. She never loved you from the beginning, I, so. <laughs> I hope not. No, I do have a, we have a child together and I have full custody. But why is it weird to introduce you to the girlfriend? Because she's going to be around your kid? Uh, yeah, that's kind of it. And she's a whore? Yeah. Isn't that isn't uh, that true, Josh? That's right. Your new girlfriend's a whore. Right. Are you really going to say that about him? <laughs> the guy's down on his luck. He lives He's in down Seattle. Down on his luck. He doesn't have oh to pay God, child support. He gets the kid. It's perfect. Couldn't be yeah, better. No, Bonnie's not, Bonnie's on it. And he's dating a whore. I mean, That's who right. wouldn't <laughs> fucking love that? Oh, she's, Russian. <laughs> she's Russian. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat uh, Chip to the 90 Day Fiance. What, Wh- why? I don't get it. Oh. Because uh, she's it? Russian. Talking about it earlier. Yeah, she's Russian. Those Russian what girls are hot it, from the uh, those I, Russian sites. You ever see them? They're bloodless though. Yeah. What do you mean? They don't have any emotion. Russian women always remind me a little bit of like aliens that came and they're trying to like assimilate, but they like wear yeah. high heels at a like at a pool with kids. Like it's a, they, they too much blue eyeshadow. Like they, they just no, get it wrong on. slightly. You're spot on. There's always heels and blue eyeshadow. Because they're all they're just trying to look like sexy and caring, and like they wouldn't just cut your throat. Yes. <laughs> but you know that rather they'd much rather she be cutting will your kill throat. Kill you in your sleep, yeah. Josh. Much Thanks rather for the be call. cutting your throat and taking your fucking television. <laughs> did you see the finale of the Boardwalk Empire? I did. How did you like it? It was good. I mean, historically, there's you know a couple things, but there's some stuff they did stick true to. Well, most of the most of the stuff they stuck tr- uh, true to throughout the series. Yes, I mean there was. Let's just say there were certain deaths of certain people throughout the series that were fictional characters, so they could Boardwalk be Empire. Off. Yeah, but uh-huh. wait, what's his name? Uh, I don't oh, want to give it away. Lucky. I know. Uh, no, he was killed last season. Whatever. No, you know the Jew from uptown that was running. Uh, the, uh, Fuck, and his wife tried to blackmail Nucky's yeah. ex-wife. You know what uh, character I'm talking about? Yes. They didn't show him die. They never showed Frank Nitty once in the whole series. Well, it's because they went like a seven-year period. Yeah. Frank Nitty was involved with Capone from, you know, from the beginning. Yeah, they just didn't feature him. Jack. At all. From Florida. Hey, guys. What's Hi, up? Jack. Um, Rich, I don't know if you remember, probably not, but you actually helped me get clean. You helped me get into a detox. Um, and how long I mean, ago was that, Jack? It was maybe like five weeks ago. I On this show? Yeah. Oh, wow. You wow. sound different. Yeah, I made it past the 30 day point. That's great. Um, yeah, but I actually, I picked up the other day. What day? And I was so, I didn't do it. I actually, I flushed the couple pills down the toilet. You know, I was sitting there in the bathroom, and I was about to do them, and I was just, you know, I was thinking, like, Rich, what did Rich tell me to do? You know, you just got to make it through the day. The drugs are still going to be there for tomorrow if I want them, but, you know, I flushed them down the toilet, and I made it through that day, and I still made it. That's fucking great. Look, you know what? 30 days is a miracle. Is a miracle. Did you ever imagine? We've made it longer than thirty days now, right? Yeah, it's like thirty-five days. Okay. Did you ever imagine when you were active that you would stay clean for thirty-five days? Did you ever think about it? No, definitely not. Okay, so guess what? Th- those days, like I said, will turn into fucking weeks and months and years, and everything will. G- it'll be so much easier. You won't even have pills in your hand to flush down the toilet. You know what I mean? 
it's it's so much easier. Life is so much easier if you can get through it. I'm I'm telling you, I'm just trying to. They don't get it. I, they don't get it. He gets it because he's got clean. What are you laughing at, Bonnie? I'm not. I'm not laughing at anything. I this had fucking to burp, guy. So I was like, Do you remember when he away. called? How fucked up he was? Yes. I no. Listen. Trust me. I I think this is amazing. This is like. You know, I'm not going to sit here and make a joke out of sobriety. I'm not making a joke. You are. You're laughing I'm not at me. making all a I'm joke. Th- all I'm thinking of is horrible shit to say. Because <laughs> I know this guy's very sincere. Yeah, but so it's... I'm just thinking of horrible things. So I'm laughing uncomfortably. It's okay. just it's weird. I'm happy like, for him. What? What? Some weird? things that you say are like oh. cliche or no? I you know I'm just I'm one just... day you won't have any pills to flush. <laughs> yeah, I know. What did I say? Like, yeah, but in his <laughs> mind, no. I, I, one day no. there won't be a toilet available. You know, just, it's not inspirational. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> one day you'll be in the shower and you'll have to <laughs> yeah. throw them down. Yes, one day it will be a gun instead. That's very helpful. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So I'm sorry. I was a little passionate. no, but you obviously helped him, and, and you do. You help people, and I think that's like pretty remarkable. So, well, Jack, listen. I, listen. This is not about you. We're we're Jim. What? Are you thrilled with Jack's recovery? Yeah, I'm actually always happy when I hear someone's caught up and getting sober. For sure. Yeah, I love hearing that. It's it. You know, did it, I, have you been going to uh, uh, meetings? Not as many as I should. Yeah, oh. yeah, I have been going to meetings. It's just they're a little bit depressing. The meetings, you know. I had to hug. I had to hug this guy that looked like he was like a homeless guy. Uh, when I got the thirty days, he gave me like this weird coin. Uh-huh. And uh, I had to hug him. You're like forced to hug him, and I didn't really want to hug him. <laughs> I think I, I might be getting scabies from. Yeah, him you shouldn't have to hug. There's a little too much hugging sometimes. The but worst part of getting sober. You know yeah. what? The hugs. <laughs> when at the at the end of a, I was at a meeting. At the end of a meeting, and I'm not breaking any any yeah, traditions. Uh, they held hands and they do the Lord's prayer. Right as a meeting end, I always walk into the bathroom because I don't want to hold anybody's yeah, hand. You, you got me on the hand thing, fucker. For you, I didn't even thought of that. And then Rich started just going, I'm going go, to go outside. I'm going to go do this. He's always doing something. I'm going to reinstall something. Yeah. And I'm stuck there holding hands. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck. I want to hold these fucking hands and do the Lord's prayer. But remember, prayer. if you're holding someone else's hands, there's no room for pills. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. That's, That's right. like something Rich would yeah, say. God in one hand. <laughs> you won't have pills in that hand, will you? <laughs> Jack, well, thank you for calling. Ca- hey, keep, keep us, keep us uh, posted. What's that? Just one more thing. Yes. Um, I'm having trouble with the higher power part of the 12 steps. Like, I don't necessarily... Don't you don't have to you worry about it. You can be your it. own higher power. Don't you don't have to well, worry about it. Well, I don't know it. if that will work. That's usually not the suggested <laughs> way to go. <laughs> I, I I chose He Man Master of the Universe when I. You That's don't right. have to that worry was about just it. to jerk off to. You yeah. don't have to worry about it. Just go to go to meetings, stay clean. Everything will fall in place. You don't have to get everything in the be. Don't try to get everything in the beginning. Or you you know what it is. You don't pick up a day at a time, and things will fall. Don't worry about what day you your higher power and this and that. There's no no fucking rules. Well, you can, you can use higher power. Like, use the group for a little while. They're doing something you can't do by yourself. A group of people yeah. are doing something that you can't do, so they're more powerful than you. So for now, just the group. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. But use just... the sun god. <laughs> yes. Yes. Worship the devil. Oh, my God. That's horrible. <laughs> Don't say that. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Good job, man. You sound so much better, too. You really do. Yeah. Thanks for calling, Thank Jack. You. You Bye, saved, Jack. You really saved my life. Thank you. Good luck, man. Aww. No, you saved your own life. I didn't do it. You saved Well, it. let's see how he is next week. He's suffocating me daily, but saving <laughs> others. Yay. Helping everyone else. Oh. Killing those you love. Uh, he did it himself. Just like... I did it, you did it, she did it. Bonnie, yeah. Bonnie's lucky. She gets to drink socially. Like She can go out and have a couple of drinks and, 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 and be not... I mean, she's... And I, won't, and I won't blow a transvestite. Oh, crazy, yeah, isn't tried it? doing that after 25 years sober. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, how do you do the stuff that you do, Jim? Uh, he doesn't know. do anything. Sober. Not at all. No, I'm just, just being kidding. silly, of course. Oh, this guy's a dentist. Oh, get, get him on the phone. Get the, the dentist. dentist. But from Mexico. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, Dr. Yeah. X from Mexico. This is a exactly. fake call. Yeah, he works for ISIS. Oh, it's not a fake call. I call him regularly. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> oh, Rita, I was admiring your uh, your pearly whites on your on your web page, and then I went to a comedian uh, show at the Improv uh, in Addison. And Jesus Christ, everybody headliner had crack mouth. What the hell is it with comedians? Is it the diet? Is the uh, the drugs? Uh, what the hell, man? Did you hear the beginning of the, uh, the show tonight? 
You know what? As a matter of fact, I just got out and I just checked in, man. What happened? I'm, I'm driving into New York. I was uh, eating a pretzel and my tooth broke. I didn't know, and I swallowed it. For and those all of I you have already is, heard this story, you can take a break. All I have is this little piece of tooth sticking up. So emergency, going to the dentist tomorrow. Is it going to be hard to extract when there's no tooth basically there? No, nah, man, it's actually easier when we uh, when I do extractions. I usually take the head of the tooth off and uh, fish out the root. But anyway, what is this? The Doctor X advice show. Hey, Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Can I ask you a question? You sure can. <laughs> what the fuck is that? He's like, he's like well, I know you're the host of the show. You want some answers. I'm not giving them to you. Jimmy. What? <laughs> What's your question? Oh, no, no, no. Here's the deal. I, I just now, it's not a dick. It's not that bullshit. I just now started uh, uh, shaving myself clean down there. Brother, I need some advice, man. How do you keep this shit from going back so fast, particularly the razors? I know you're clean as a whistle, buddy. Can you? Oh, you, you must be a great dentist. You don't even know how to <laughs> shave your balls. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're the guy I want to do fucking root canal, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you're the fucking best. Jimmy, I'm serious. I'm going to hang up with this one if you ask it. Okay. Why, do you shave clean down there? Uh, t- every day. Oh, but, my what I, The God. way to do it, though, is too many guys do it in the shower. What you got to do is take a razor. Don't get in the shower. You dry shave it outside the shower. Ah! <laughs> I can see cavities. Listen, I'm That's how I shave do it. my legs, and they're like, you can see the lines in them for days, like even was, after I've moisturized. No, you dry shave, you, 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 you pull the razor up against the hair, dry shave before the shower. Oh, Listen, shit. Norm, when he shaves down there, that can't be he, looks right. like, he looks like a turtle, and then he has a baby turtle down there. That's it, nothing. What, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, you want to be completely hairless? I am so. totally hairless. That's the only part of my body I shave. Is you shave it up. You, but why? Don't you cut it first? Oh, well, it's, you don't no, have, I don't have you know, to. Take straight pubes like an Asian fucking hairdo. It looks awful. And I just don't like it. It's not, it doesn't feel as clean. I'm going to do that. This mm-hmm. way you can see the bugs. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Dry shaving works well. Oh, oh. horrible. Ugh. Oh, God. Rick from Oklahoma. What? This is dirty. Small question. What? Go ahead. Small question for Rich. Hey. If you have to go to the dentist, you know, tomorrow or tonight, wherever you get in, yeah. and this work they're going to do, and they ultimately give you some pain pills. Not for that, not for an extraction, a, but go ahead. Would you, would you count that as a snow day on your sobriety, like a snow day? No, no. Here's the deal with, uh, with any prescription drugs. I'm not a doctor. Uh, you go, people in meetings aren't doctors. There are doctors, but I'm saying if, if, if a doctor... Uh, prescribes, say, one, which I won't do him anyhow, but say he said, okay, take one Vicodin uh, twice a day, okay, for pain. That's not a relapse. Now, if he says take one Vicodin twice a day and you take fucking five twice a day, then that's a relapse. But sometimes doctors don't know or they overprescribe. No, but you tell them you're in recovery. If you tell them you're in recovery, like any prescription. My friend had a doctor who said, like, you can have one glass of wine a day when she was pregnant. And and she used to pour herself like a, like a fucking full tumbler every it's all, day. It's motives though. It's like you got like we know what we're doing. Yes. And like when I had sinus surgery, I got prescribed Vicodin. I was in pain. I had yeah. fucking major face surgery. So if it said take two a day, I would take one. Yeah. I always yeah. take less than the prescribed amount, and I always wind up throwing the pills out. Me too. Beforehand. You don't sell them? No, no, I'll give them to somebody who's new in the program just to help you. Help them get through the first week. <laughs> no, but you're right. I, I always take less. He's right. I always take less than they say. I had a headache for a month. For a fucking month. I just got rid of it because my neck, I hurt my neck. And then, oh, welcome and to I, my marriage. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, welcome to my joke. <laughs> She's rolling tonight. Uh, so, I only took Advil. Two times or three times Motrin throughout this whole month. Two or three times. Yeah, we'd love to. You should put this on worsefacts.com. Yes. Nobody cares how many I times did, it took. I took I'm a Motrin as a, as twice. A drug addict. Yeah, I understand. Wow. But yeah, so if you don't abuse anything, if you're, if you're prescribed something, if you're home melting it down and shooting it, I would yeah. call that a relapse. If you had surgery and it's legit and you know it's yes. legit, just don't dope fiend yourself or give the pills to someone else to distribute to you. A lot of guys do that. In the beginning, yeah. yeah. If you want to start doing drugs, uh, you'll listen to Rich do a little Neil Young. Well, I dreamed I saw the night in armor. You satisfied, Matt? Saying oh, something you. about Beautiful. a queen. 
There were peasants singing and drummers drumming and the archers split the tree. Okay. All Isn't right. that good? No. <laughs> what's, what's the comparison? <laughs> Is it good to watch? <laughs> Let's go to something that's a little Voice less... Like a, an angel. Let's go to something that's a little less gross. Hey, Kelly, wait. what do you want to ask Jim? Oh, no, I didn't want to ask Jim anything. Ooh, a little confrontational, I aren't know. you, Kelly? Wow. No. <laughs> Hi, guys. You All want right. to give him some advice. What, what advice? Oh, yeah. Jim, big fan. I uh, listen to you every morning. Thank you. Absolutely love you. Thank you. Um, Rich and Bonnie, I love you, too, even though you hung up on me twice last oh, week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dear. Oh, that's oh, oh. this is with Kelly. That's yeah. uncalled for. Bonnie's heart is breaking, but Bonnie, I can share your pain on the dry shaving of the legs. Never again. I made that mistake once. Right? It's horrifying. I always can dry shave. Can you imagine shave. doing it on your balls? Yeah, and, and you're above the I pubic hair. I know you have balls. <laughs> Bonnie, yes, I don't if you're a girl who likes me, you must be. <laughs> so what, what was your statement, young lady? Oh, my statement, young sir, was that I know you have issues going, uh, dropping a deuce in public. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> what I was going to say, for to help you get past that, I used to travel out for work. The only way I could drop a deuce in an airport, um, put earbuds in, listen to some music. Then you can't hear anybody, and it's like you're in your own special world while you're... I don't no, like going into idea. other bathrooms about my own or a hotel. If I have to go well, to a bathroom, yeah. do what I do. You go, you 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 take with you a deprivation chamber. Right? <laughs> you sit in that, and then you don't know where you are. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. That's not a bad idea. What music? I don't like to shit in public. Neither do I? But you, I it, have it, no uh, problem with it. I will literally like. Oh, you do it all the time. Yeah, I don't. You're but disgusting. I go. I, I, I go so fast. See, I'm a thirty minute shitter. Twenty oh, minute. I like to sit on the, the toilet. I, like, I go in waves. It's fucking great. You know, do you have to ever like, like. Ew, I don't. <laughs> what kind of humor is this? No, what? No, like, like sometimes you have to massage your back a little bit. No, I've never injured myself. Oh, to get no, it going? No, no, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. ew, you do. What oh. kind of creep are yeah. you? Sometimes I don't... you have to massage your back a little to get I've it. never heard that. <laughs> you drop big solid logs and you're done? That's oh, it? good. Now, yeah. now it, it just, it's like, it, it comes out perfect every time. Good, that's great. When I give you a massage yeah. in bed tomorrow, <laughs> that's great. You're loosening things up. <laughs> Getting a fucking flume ready. Up. <laughs> oh, my God. What do you want, Mario? I, uh, I heard Rich the other day on, uh, on Anthony's show. Actually, it was the replay. You, you were, you were, Fucking hilarious! Thank you, uh, Jim, Jimmy. You too. Every time you're on there, it's just it's a, it's a fucking home run. I Thank love you. It. I'll uh, probably go on again this week or next week. Oh, uh, do you know when? Because I'll definitely tune in. I subscribe to both, so I want to make sure I, I, I hear it. Okay, up. you know, I know. I would I would do it tomorrow, but I have a, a something I'm I'm taping red eyes, so I can't. A Thursday, I mean. I Who cares? Why am I saying that? I love doing Gosh, that. Uh, I mean, both of you guys, great. Anthony with a co-host is just—he's a genius. I love Anthony. I've, I've, I've listened to him for a really long time. Does, at the end of the uh, of the shows, does he ever express any interest in having you guys come back as co-hosts or maybe a more frequent basis, or is that something that's just not discussed? We've never talked show? about. It. I've never talked yeah. about. It. Like literally, after we're done, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to hit some traffic, and Anthony is face deep in a bottle. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just kidding. Sir. <laughs> we talked <laughs> after the show. <laughs> I only did the, I did the, I did the show once. I did it one time. I hit a grand slam. I go. I don't need to go back. No, it's hard for for me going out there. It's o- over two hours. It literally is the distance. That I, I would have been on Anthony's show probably three days a week. I love doing it. It's just it's fun so hanging fun. out with him. It's fun. But the, the thing is, I've done it twice. Once was an hour and twenty, and once was an hour and a half. And then coming back in, and then people are like, well, Ant was doing right. But when Ant was coming in, he was beating rush hour and going back out at a weird time. And plus he had an ho- uh, apartment here. Yeah. yeah. That was a rough How fucking come, commute. But why won't Ant do it here in the city? I know that you know, his house is beautiful. He doesn't want to leave I, I'm it. I'm just thinking because it's convenient. He had that studio built there already. It's a great studio. Yeah. But he would get bigger and better guests. Uh, yeah. And pe- people are like, well, Bigger and better than you guys? Come no. on. Yeah, no. Bonnie makes a good point. But you know what I'm saying? Yes, and I do. I don't know. I, I mean, agree with it's you. not my business. You know, look, I don't. When all that shit, look at their millionaires. Let them deal with their. I got to. Oh, worry what about the it. hell do we know? Right? What let do the, I know? I'll let the muckety mucks work. All I know is that fucking crew that goes to his house. It looks like the march of the fucking mutants. His crew. His crew. <laughs> They're awful. <laughs> They're awful. And when you guys are calling people mutants, yeah. you know Pat they got to be and fucking Carlton. <laughs> fucking Bobo. <laughs> fucking Big A is a sergeant at arms. Yeah. Uh, 
If I was single, I would be dating Big A. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I know why Anthony plays cards with Are you them. You you give me the look? <laughs> why? Anthony plays cards with all of them. It's like... It's like he's like Nicholson in Cuckoo's Nest, taking their money. Yeah, <laughs> creep. What a fucking creep. Yeah, he's a creep. He likes hanging out with these fucking... Uh, they're, they're utterly awful. They're, all of them. I had fun when I was there. I, I really always had fun at Anthony's house. I'm probably going to go there for Halloween. Huh? Well, this is exciting. Yeah, you're right. We're boring everyone, including ourselves. This we're is part worse of than what... Like, if you're just talking at, out, uh, in the hall. You're right. <laughs> You know, this is... <laughs> we're doing... What do you want? We did two hours. We took calls. Yeah, we, we were, were just fun. chatting oh, about whatever. our friends. Whatever. You have fucking ten minutes left. Let's let's go. We're well, almost there, guys. We'd like to know that we're friends we with Anthony. F- so we're just talking about our friends. Yes. Our friend who's had a hard time. Now, I, I'm not saying don't talk about Anthony, but That's at right. least do him the, the courtesy of being... Uh, Interesting while we do <laughs> yes. it? Okay, fair enough. Someone else has a podcast. Give me your opinion. Uh, oh, well, come on. What? Someone else has a podcast. Uh-huh. And I was supposed to do it today. And they wrote me, they go, oh, we're, we ran late, we didn't get you because we were talking to David Duke, right? Okay. Now, I, I go, I'll reschedule, but I don't know if I'm going to do a podcast where they're using David yeah, Duke. Yeah, you should. Who cares what? who they talk to? You talk to people on the news, they talk to fucking everyone. Well, you guys don't have people like that I'd in love studio. to. I'd interview David Duke in a second. I'd interview a Klansman, I would interview anyone. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, would you f- interview the girl that you approached at the comedy club? Yeah, if she call in. Yeah, well, she's on the line. Ooh, where is she? Go ahead. Oh, is this Kelly from New York? I'm, I'm here. Oh, are you, are you the girl that was at Caroline's, Kelly? Let me, first of all, what oh, were you wearing that night, if you're the girl? We'll know. Um, I was I was feeling flashy, so I had on my... Um, this is her, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. We got her. Okay, we might be running a little late tonight, Kelly. I mean, people. <laughs> Kelly. Oh, God, you're so nervous. Right? I'm not nervous because we don't, we don't have a lot of Can time. Can I interview her first since you already had your shot with Go her? Go ahead. Um, Dude, this is Bonnie. This is, I'm married to Rich. Don't let that stop you. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God, Bonnie. Um, I watched the documentary last night, and huh. I had said that I was just very um, inspired and admired you staying with it even though... You're not ugly, fat, black, or lesbian. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a hard it's a hard road for an attractive white girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Inter- answer As questions. I'm sure you know, this is this brings us to our point. Though, mm-hmm. is uh, did you think it was creepy? And just be honest, because that's there are no wrong answers. There's no here. wrong answers here, Kelly. Um, uh, and Rich has p- agreed, promised that he will help you no matter what happens here today. <laughs> Did you think it was creepy when he walked over to you and was like, are you a comedian? I can help your career. Um, no, I was just I was just hoping that that would pretend you never you actually like never know. Um, but I was hoping that potentially it was that it was true. Right. But did you think like, oh, he hasn't seen me do stand up yet. Is this a little odd? Um, no, I didn't really read into it too much. Honestly, is that bad? I, you know, I probably, I'm smart, though, but I probably would have been like, oh, that's a little weird. I might still have followed up with it, but I'm saying I, no, I might have been, I, I, I'm pretty sure I would have been wait, like. Didn't you guys meet when you were on Last Comic Standing and he was a judge? Rich? Yeah. Well, that's kind of a, a little bit false. <laughs> I, listen, he said, "He said I'm a big act." Okay, Rich Voss. So, oh my God, that was on the um, on the girls aren't funny. It was so funny. Yes, yes. Yeah. He was like, I'm, "You're coming? Are you coming back to my house?" You're like, "No." <laughs> See, she loves you. Maybe Bonnie's going to help you a little more than I could help you because she's a female. Rich has other friends though. Oh, and Jim, you know who Jim Norton is? Uh, I should. I'm sorry. I have to. I'm. I actually had started in. Uh, oh, so I'm really Kelly. Wait, shame on you. Wait, where'd you start? <laughs> At Caroline's, but I mean, like, um, I'm like fairly new, but motivated to. Perfect. I have. I, I have a do you, sitcom. Do you, know who, do you know who Pat Oswalt is? Now leave her alone. She's. I just want to know who, like, where where Don't her comedy fun. heart lies. She's new. What the fuck? You see, that's what it. You're oh my being god! Mean. Are you embarrassing me on live radio? No, 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 no not First at all. First of all, nobody no. listens to this shit. Okay, and no, we're not embarrassing you at all. I'm sticking up for you. 
Bonnie <laughs> thinks I was a creep. My wife, who I love dearly, thinks I was a creep because I go up to, you know, a uh, girl, you know. You and, saw a very attractive yes. girl standing there, and you were like, whoa, is she a comedian? And then you m- made a beeline over to her. I can help your career. I don't see how that's... <laughs> Huh? Right? I mean, it's a little... I think it was a nice gesture. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, and let me tell you something. Nor- Norton, because I'm going to... I might have to turn, hand the ball to Norton on this one, because we're okay. we're shooting a TV show now, and I'm going to look at your, your tape and uh, see what, you know, whatever. By the and, way, if there's anyone here who can help you, it is Jim Norton. I, I go on merit. Don't I, Google him, though. No, not at all. <laughs> a lot of those things are lies. <laughs> I've never handed over money to that gender. <laughs> wait, wait. Can you, can you go five extra minutes? Wait, can you go five extra minutes? Why? Yeah, tell we're him. going five you extra minutes. You tell him. Hey, yeah, five boss minutes. is going five extra We're going five extra minutes because this call is going to help a lot of people. Her, it's going to help Kelly and her comedy. Bonnie and I in our relationship. That's Kelly, right. incidentally, North- Rich's ex-wife's name. Oh, yeah. I know that. So, Kelly, you've been doing, you're new in comedy, obviously, right? Yeah, but I shouldn't say that, right? Yeah, no, why not? Tell no, the truth. No, no, of course. No, listen to me. You're, uh, and, and what did you take a course at Caroline's or with one of those Andy Angle yeah, types? I've, done, um, I've always, like, admired people do it because I'm like, take some balls. But uh, so I was just like, you know, why don't I try a workshop? And um, at the very least, I'll be like, okay, I can't do it. Um, and so then, like, the, that show, I just set the bar low. I was like, all you have to do is get on stage. And that was what, and, like, I got on and I started going, but, like, it was real nerve-wracking. But then it's really become such a um, high to do. I don't know. It just is a, every, it just, like, makes me feel empowered, I guess. What's in your blood? What did you it's do? in your blood, Kelly. What did you do before that work-wise, or what do you do? Um... Uh, my dogs are a little funny. No, okay, it's like uh, I was a dog walker, a babysitter, uh, a house sitter. Um, I do a little bit of sales, flip flops, and handbags. So you're a failure. Uh, so this is perfect for you. <laughs> this is a great move, I think. <laughs> but wait a second. No, but how many times have you done it that night? Like that wasn't your first night, right? That was. Fifth, maybe. Oh, your um, fifth night. Okay. Oh, you went on and that night. And how did you do that fourth night? Or fifth, fourth or fifth. Um, that night, I had my parents there, and I talk a little bit about um, anal and masturbation. So it was not oh. my strongest. No, I saw. I saw like two minutes of your, uh, your what you sent me. I thought her opening joke was pretty good. I liked her opening joke, and I'll what? give her some advice. Can we on hear the, it, or is that too creepy? To it's, ask I'm not going to do it now. Don't ask her to do it. Oh. But here, how come? And and how come you're not taking acting lessons? Or you know, I mean, you're an attractive lady. You know, Thank you. Uh, <laughs> do you understand? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, no, I totally do. Um, I've t- I've done like little acting projects, um, but I guess I don't know. I've I don't know. It just well, let me just say like... what Rich is getting at. We have a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I mean, but... no, but she's new, and I get it. This this generation of comedians isn't like ours. Like they don't do research. They don't know everybody. They don't. I, you know I, what I mean? Like we are like the, that, we were like geeks, that. right? Were we all geeks about comedy yeah. before we started? When I grew no. up, I grew oh. up loving comedy. Yeah, and I knew, but I it was a whole nother thing. Like she probably didn't know who the fuck I was that night in the club. Did you have to go figure out who he was? Um. I didn't. I honestly, I hadn't watched Last Comic Standing, so. But then I went and I like looked. Um, yeah, she probably. Go, yeah, she didn't know who I was. All right. I really. I like. I have people. I do like to. Like I. I. Amy. I watch Amy Schumer stuff. I think it's funny. Um, she's great. I really like her. She's actually from my hometown, um, but I haven't met her yet. Where are you from? That you say hometown? Long Island. Rockville Center. Okay. Long Island, yeah. So this is uh, this is probably going to work out well for you if you hook up with Jim. Well, not hook up physically. No, no, but just you let him help you. No, I, I don't even know if I would help her. I have to see her act. I have to like somebody's material. Well, she's only done it five times. She talks about anal. All right, I'm so getting, in front I'm of her parents. Better fast. You're I on the right really track. I What's that? I'm, ho- I could, I'm, uh, I'm getting better, though. I'm going I'm like, uh, I'm to send you some notes. 
Okay, thank you. Were you happy when you asked Rich for help and he sent you a link to his documentary? <laughs> Did you think that was appropriate help? <laughs> no. Um, no, I was doing it. I mean, she's probably like, here, call I'm this agent, honest, tell him I, I sent you. Watch it. Oh, sorry, Bonnie. No, no that's okay. Thanks. It's fine. Go ahead. No, you could go. <laughs> I was just saying you probably were looking, f- f- you know, more for like, here's an agent. Give this guy a call. Tell him I, you know, told you to call him. <laughs> and then you, instead you get like, pay three ninety nine for this movie. No, but I, <laughs> Rent or buy. Oh. <laughs> that was like, what's his name? Uh, Mel Brooks used to do that with uh, just a story. I'll, anyhow, I, did, I had her watch the movie. She doesn't for know a who reason. Mel Brooks is. You have to stop doing references. I ha- that embarrass her. She knows Mel Brooks. Do you know Mel, Bro- Mel Brooks is? I think so. Okay. I don't okay. feel as bad. <laughs> oh She's young. I, what, what do you, you're about, what, 22 years old, 23? No, I'm 26. Oh, Jesus. Well, you All better right. get going. I started when I, I was 28. Don't worry. You're going to be fine. We're gonna, we're, you know what? We're going we're gonna to put you in our camp. We're gonna, we're gonna... I would love to be in your camp. You well, like first of all, of the fun. one thing that I will say, by Kelly, you, you have thick skin already. You can, you can tell you're, 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 you're enjoying this process of us. Yes. I, well, I think I might be the only one that's really being mean. But <laughs> you're enjoying the body humor. Can we say yes. that? <laughs> no, but, uh, I like that. That you have to have that. You have to be able to take a and punch. Bonnie's line of "You're a failure" <laughs> was one of the most perfectly <laughs> delivered, fucking vicious lines I've ever heard. It was really good, Bonnie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. She likes Amy Schumer, so I mean, come yeah. On. But here's the thing: I said I'd help her career. Already, I'm helping her career. Has she? Have you ever done a radio? Have you ever been on a national radio show? I haven't. There I would have loved it if she'd been like, "Well, I used to host one." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, I think that would it became that would came before dog walking. Oh. True. <laughs> All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna wrap this up. Kelly, we'll, keep in touch. Make gonna, sure you uh, make sure you email uh, Rich a lot. Let him know what's going on with you. Make sure no. Jim knows exactly what's happening. No, don't be mean. I'm to not her. being mean. You're I'm mean. actually I'm being. Okay. I'm trying to be like sort how of about, silly about how it. How about out with the old and with the new? How about that? You ever heard that? And don't ever stop I wearing like that, that sequin skirt. That's your bread and butter, baby. Were you attracted to Rich when he came up to you? No. <laughs> Did you think like, oh my God, what's this old man? This hunk is approaching I me. No, because I, li- I had listened to his stand up. I thought it was hilarious. I thought he was hilarious. Okay. Thank you. I thought he was a funny guy. Um, Thank and- you. Of course, I'm way older. Well, I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to hit yeah, on. But her. I, I can imagine her saying, "There, like, is this a friend of my dad's? What's happening?" You know. But maybe Bonnie could like, uh, like I feel like guys when they meet girls would maybe like they think like that, like girls aren't. I don't know. As set, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like you. you I don't know someone. what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I, I judge only by the humor. I, I don't go for the whole look. Oh, I haven't God. even seen what you look like yet. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Can like, I not be wearing the sequin skirt if we if uh, I need advice? Yeah, no, yeah, not at all. We're just we're what happens frumpy. if she's only wearing like leather pants? Yeah, you still mean, gonna be into it? Be happy to talk to her. I don't care. Who cares if you're wearing something with like yoga pants? <laughs> Who cares if you're wearing s- snug, light gray yoga pants? <laughs> Listen, I have hot pink. Perfect. So do I. Do you live in? Where do you live in? New York City or Long Island? Long Island. Um, I commute in and out. I have a few friends. I'm kind of a nomad, so I can be in the city if I have to. Uh oh. For extended periods. Do you know what a no-bad is, Rich? Do we yes. need to go over that? Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, that she mean? doesn't get angry. What's that? So here's the deal, Kelly. We're going to keep in touch. We're going to help. We're going to work with you as a team. We're, we're going to take you on as a project. You know what happened here, Kelly? Uh, Rich and I bet a dollar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you think I would let her run our corporation? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, you know what? That's all right. You're, you know what? We're, we're gonna take her on. Okay, Jim. we're taking on Kelly. Let's take Kelly. Take on. her to the top. Let's take, let's right, take Kelly on. Kelly, take Kelly on. Bonnie, you'll work with her from the female standpoint. I thought you were gonna say you'll work the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right. I think she's doing fine on her own, but um, you know, whatever. She seems like a we're nice there, girl. We're there for you. No, I like her a lot. She's cool. All right, Kelly. Thanks for calling. We'll talk. Um. Thank you guys for my uh, f- for the my first little interview. Bye, Kelly. Bye. You're welcome. You did great. 
And bye to everybody uh, still uh, this, listening. This weekend, I'll be at the Parlor Live in uh, Bellevue, Washington. Where are you at? You got anything? Just go to JimNorton.com. I have a bunch of dates coming up. Uh, I'm also at the Parlor Live, but not for a while. So go see Rich this week in Nashville, everywhere. I'll just go see me in Belmore, whatever you want. I was in Nashville Sunday. Bonnie, what do you got coming up? You got I the- want you to check all the clubs uh, <laughs> in the country and see where I'm at. Because you have no fucking website or nothing. I don't know. But I do have a lot of shows in New York coming out for the festival. I don't know where they all are. All right, thanks. Kelly, thank you for coming. At Bonnie McFarlane. Bye. Twitter. Bye. Thanks for having me. Thanks. La, 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 la.